Hey everyone, James and Mark here with another mukbang. If you guys are new to our channel, please hit that subscribe button and answer these three questions in the chat. Where are you from? What's your favorite food? And how did you find us? My name is James and this is Mark and we film mukbangs every Monday and Friday at 6 p.m. Pacific time. And welcome back to another Friday mukbang. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Is this one of the last? We have a couple more Fridays till the end of the year, right? Two more Fridays? Next, next Friday, Friday, Friday is, after. Is next Friday Christmas or Christmas Eve? Christmas Eve. It's Christmas Eve and then one more. Oh my gosh. Just right? like that. Just yeah. like that. We're, wait, today's wait, the what? No, next week is uh, Christmas. Because oh. today's 18? Yeah. 18 plus 7, 25. Yeah. yeah. It's mm -hmm. Christmas already. Wait, so this might be the last Friday. This is the second. This is the penultimate Friday of the year. I just wanted to sound smart by mm -hmm. saying that. Or did it work? <laughs> Anyhow, how are you guys? Yeah, we're super excited to be here and uh, hanging out. It seems like every Friday we just say, can't believe another week's gone by, but you guys have kept us sane uh, for most of 2020. Yeah. Um, I don't know, offhand trivia question. There's something different about our mukbang today. Can you guys tell? Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Also, uh, we are wearing matching sweaters today. Uh, one of our friends has like a small boutique, like clothing store. store. So we are supporting her. I actually need to pull up the the name and the Instagram, but I'll leave it in the, the comments later in the stream. But I feel like I might not be hip enough to like rock this. Yeah, like yours yeah. is a little bit more like like um, natural, I would I'm, say. Uh, like, Crimsicle. You're, you are creamsicle, um, yes. Creamsicle, creamsicle, orange, half and half. Is that the name of the sweater? And what am I like? Ooh, you a, <laughs> a, a dirty cow. <laughs> I doubt that this is called dirty cow print, but I also, you look good. And I have like the match socks too. I'm flexible ish. So yeah, I got matching shot socks. I was going to say shots. What were you saying? I know. I I was like, calm down, because you're gonna be like, oh, why is my thigh like sore tomorrow? I'm you're not fine. gonna remember you did this. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, before we tell you guys what we're doing uh, for today's live stream, let's just get to the comments real quick. Sure. All right. So we got Cynthia first in the house says, "This is my favorite food in the world." You guys read my mind. Are we mind readers? <laughs> we got Emerita. Welcome, Kevy and Wifey. Do are here? Welcome, Bonnie. Hi. See, we got WTF says hello. I I can't read the rest of it. That's those are Japanese characters. Mm -hmm. right? We got uh, Abam says morning everyone. Oh, where are you from? Somewhere in Asia, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Yes. Chunky Funk, my life story says hey, my booze. Yes, I hope you had an amazing day as well. The Michaels are here. Welcome, Michael. Michael. Michael squared. Is that what you should start calling me? Michael, Michael, Michael. <laughs> we got Teresa and Sam, Jay's Everyday Bonds, Rest Girl, Go With The Flow, Nora, Rachel. If I skip anyone's name, I'm so sorry, uh, but just drop it in the chat again. Hannah, welcome. Elda, welcome. El, let's see. Aura, Phantom, welcome. Hope you're f recovering well. Julie, Chastity, Brandon. Judy uh, says, hello, James and Mark. I hope you received the package. So we definitely got uh, the letter. The package is actually being held at the post office because we went after, after they were able to, um, because our, our PO box isn't like large enough. So they're holding onto it. So we're planning to grab it. And well, cause like we have 24 seven access to our PO box, but if we get the slip where it says, oh, you know, you need to get it from the post office, like the actual office right next door to the PO box. We went after hours. Yeah. So we have to go back tomorrow to during the daytime operation hours. Yeah. To, to Usually they give you a key for the bigger ones, but for whatever reason, I'm imagining because a lot of people are probably oh, yeah. sending out packages. Yeah. Um, but we're super excited to try something that we're familiar with and something new. The toffee sounds <gasps> like and your I love fave. toffee. Yeah. So yeah, we're when super excited. We saw excited that in the card. That. We're like, I was like, yes. <laughs> Angelina, hi friends. Hi. Are you? How many swipes of the deodorant did you do today? Me? Yeah. yeah. Now, do you remember the reference? Yes. Okay. Well, how many did you do today? I don't know if I was did that, that just a week ago. It was last Friday. Not like longer. No, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Maybe three, four, one, two, three. Oh, three. Like one, two, three. One, two, three. Oh. 
That's the new dance. Zero, movie. zero. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> Good thing you're wearing a long sleeve sweater. Oh, uh, it'll, it'll find a way to get out there. Don't you worry. Yeah. Oh. Stop. Uh, let's see. Bubba's here. I go with the flow. Says super cute outfits. Oh, Tony's here. She says hi. Hey guys, finally here live. Welcome. Mandy says I made it. Yes, Lynn's welcome. Let's see. Uh, Jess says hi, and Pari bashes love your outfits. Thank you, Gabriel. Welcome to our stream. Uh, Hannah asks, are you guys going to film a special mukbang next week? I don't know. We actually need to figure out what we're going to be doing during Christmas because we are just going to be at home together. And so we need to maybe plan out some of the meals ahead of time so we're not scrambling and all that. So, yeah, if you have suggestions. I don't know what we're doing in terms of filming those. Yeah. That's kind of what I'm getting at. Angelina says three, I think. So you guys are the same. Oh. You guys have a lot of similar answers. You know, Angelina thinks I look like Psy. That's not, she's not the first person that said that. So why why do you look so like disappointed or sad? I, I'm not, I feel like I look like better than him. <laughs> right? Well, I mean. Oh, you're into Psy then. You're into Psy. in the eye of the beholder. So. You guys don't know who Psy is? He's the one that sang that Oppa Gangnam style, you know? I remember loving like getting drunk at weddings and dancing to that song. Maybe that's what. Maybe that's what. I'm sorry. Uh, Claimer, welcome. How many more till twenty k? That's a great question. We are like, gosh, like, we if we're oh, lucky, we might get nineteen thousand seven hundred tonight, tonight. Yeah, if we if we're lucky. Yeah, so, so we're about three hundred ish. I don't know if we're gonna get it by twenty twenty, but you never know. We still have. Just three thirteen days. Just three hundred more people. Yeah, which sounds that's which is like how much we actually get in a whole month. So, and we're already like two thirds in it. But maybe this video will do well. We actually, I forgot to mention, we are actually going to be playing a game later in the stream called Truth or Drink. So that should be exciting. If you guys want to hear us spill all the tea or just get really drunk, then just stick around for like another hour ish or so. Yeah, we. I think we're timing it. Um, for after dinner. Yeah. yeah. Right, we got Leslie and Misa, welcome. And Jess says, I'm finally able to watch a live stream since the semester finally over. How, how was your semester? And Lita says, hey guys, Merry Christmas. And it was Hannah's brother's birthday. So she went to Paris to get to buy a cake and the manager and this coworker or customer were fighting in Korean. I was scared and I left. Oh gosh. And went to 85 degrees instead. Is that what's called? Is that wow, the- that's commitment. I would have just stayed and just bought a cake because I, 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 I get so annoyed when you have to like leave a place, not get what you want, and have to drive somewhere else to yeah. get the same thing. I hate that. But, yeah, no, that's commitment, like you said. Yeah, um, but safety first, I guess. Absolutely. <laughs> Uh, and then before we just jump in, just real quick, because this is t- topical. Do you have an opinion on the government government orders? P- people here in Wisconsin are 50-50. Rural areas don't wear masks at all. Uh, my personal opinion, which I can share here because it's our channel, I think wearing the mask doesn't hurt. Wear the mask. We have no beds left in the ICU here, so why not wear the mask and just stay home? Right. I mean, I I, 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 could, I, I, I do my best to empathize, right? Mm. But I agree with James, what he just said. It's like, it doesn't hurt. Um, and why not just think about other people than yourself at a time like this? Yeah. In a year like this, think about others before yourself. And then we could all hold hands in a large circle around the big bonfire and sing Kumbaya. Like, that's the ideal world. Let's just do that. Yeah. Yeah. But since we're not quite there yet, we're going to have fun with you guys in the stream. Yeah. <laughs> no, but like what you it's kind of scary because in, in Orange County, 0% ICU capacity. So um, they don't they don't have any bed space right now. No, not at all. No, not so, at all. But that's scary because if you need to go in there for something. Emerg- like emergency. Like you have a heart that- attack or whatever, then do they kick the yeah. COVID patient out or and help you or not, you know? Yeah, yeah. Just really, it's just very unfortunate. So, but... I think we're kind of seeing the um, the a small light at the end of the tunnel with the rollout of the vaccination. So hopefully that does help pretty soon. But we're definitely seeing the worst of it. Absolutely, we're definitely seeing the worst of it right now. Yeah, yeah. 
And Meet Chunkins reminded me that I need to do the Twitch. So this is a good segue for you to talk about what we are making sure. tonight. So if you saw the title of this video, you already know what we're making. But if you haven't, because you got so excited to click on that notification, and you're like, oh, shoot, I, do, I don't know what, we're eating, what they're eating. Well, we're going to eat breadcrumbs from the container, <laughs> and lemon as if it's an apple, and then we're going to chew on a parsley for dessert. You had one job. <laughs> Or we're going to be making a uh, linguine with clams. Mm. Isn't there a better name for it? Or is it just linguine with clams? It's either linguine with clams or linguine and clams. Oh. oh. So either way. Yeah. So yeah. that's what we're having? What? There's no French name for it. Like, 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 uh, well, we, like clams. We can ask Misa. Yeah. Misa, is there a Or maybe the two mics. I think they, oh, yeah. they're from the Canada where they kind of know French or some, something about French. Well, one of the Michael's names yeah. looks very French. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so now I'm confused. Did you describe what we're making? Yeah, look, okay. we were just talking about <laughs> No, I just was like, are you, clams. like, I was just fixing and it on, like, like eating, eating the lemon, lemon, eating the, br I was like, did you answer the question? I was just like, because I was like semi listening. And we're talking but about I was just French like, and stuff. Anyways, Emily, thank you so much for oh. the $2 super sticker. We appreciate that. <gasps> By the way, we saw your video. Yes. Yes. We need, oh, yes. I want to watch more of it. Wait, so uh, super chats for today. What what did we say we're gonna do? We're just gonna do straight up game, game. Yeah. <laughs> like no, no. Like I didn't know if you wanted to go through the numbers or if it's just red or black one time and that's it. Oh, I thought we we're just playing the game. Okay, then we'll do the game. Yeah. So if you guys are new here, anytime we get a super chat, there's a risk of us having to take a shot if we lose the game. So it's super as simple. James is shuffling, we are gonna be drinking white wine before we start drink taking shots. Uh, for the truth or drink game. And plus we're having pasta with clam, linguine with clams. We think white wine would be good. I'll have you all decide which bottle we should open up first. So we, they're both um, Sauvignon Blanc. Well, there's another French word for you. Yeah. Sauvignon Blanc. Mm. Sauvignon Blanc. Um, should we drink the Dark Horse Sauvignon Blanc, which is this? Oh, hold on, which way do I? Hold on, I can't see it. Or should we drink the Josh Sellers Sauvignon Blanc? So let us know, and then we'll just open it and keep the other one in the fridge. Yeah. So Julie S. and uh, Joy B. both said that the dish is called Linguini Aya Ale Vongole. Oh, I think I heard of that. Yeah. Vongole. I think so. And Tofu Bunny, welcome. What are your for Christmas Day. We don't have any ideas, so if you want to drop in the chat, we'd be more than happy to get to that. And I actually have to highlight this comment real quick because it made me chuckle. Mark has one job, then he preps, cooks, and plates the meal. <laughs> I was like, as soon as I read that, I was like, oh my God. I almost decided not to read it, but I felt like to honor Rush Girls uh, calling, calling the facts as facts, I have to honor that. So yeah, <laughs> you're gonna do everything after this. All right, so you first. Okay. Yeah, you can move the bottle so it doesn't block your. I know, but I want to. I want people to. Oh, to choose. vote. Okay, yeah. wait, wait. Oops. So I say, uh, meat says, dark horse. I say, looks cooler. But I'm not a wine drinker. Hannah says, the prettier one. Which one's the prettier one? Pinot Grigio, dark horse, Josh, green. Everyone's saying it in different ways. No, so. uh, um, Huntress is saying I'm on Pinot Grigio. Oh, I'm oops. Okay, Grigio. yeah. Wait, but green is also the dark horse. Got it. Yeah. So I don't, I don't Pinot. Uh, no, I just read Pinot Grigio. Uh, dark horse. So I okay, don't know what I, I mean, I feel like I've seen so, more dark horse slash it, green well, bottles. And you so. know, depending on how the night goes, we might be, end up drinking both anyways. So. Yeah. Misa says, I love how Mark says Sauvignon. Sauvignon. You have to like kind of pluck your lips a little bit and like do one of these like wrist things. <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah. First number is 10. So now Mark has to guess if it's higher or lower. Lower. Nine. It's lower. lower. Oh no. So that's one for you. Okay. Also, if you want us to drink, hit that like button. Was that eight? I'm gonna go higher. 
Oh, so are we taking uh, chummy shots now for this? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I just said higher, right? What's that number? Lower. So I lost. You lost. <laughs> that was, you're no. a little slow. <laughs> well, okay. I was like, what, what happened? Usually when I lose, you react like instantly. That but I, I, was, I was like, what are we doing right now? Chummy? Like, I was like, I got lost. We also oh. have our wine to pour too. Yeah. Okay. Teresa, yes, drink with us. She says, my son is at my sister. So happy hour with James and Mark. Yes. This is happy hour. Yeah, this is happy hour time. Like at a Korean bar, this would, they will probably charge maybe $11, $12 for this bottle. Mm. At the market, three fifty. dollars Happy hour price. When I drink enough of it, I start feeling like I'm three fifty. <laughs> That's not cute. Oh, I feel like I need a chaser today, huh? Should I? No, I'll do the first one with that one. Let's see. All right, cheers. Emerita says, Mark's in a giddy mood today. Ooh, that's nice and cold. I might have to put the other bottles in the fridge for now. Because it's getting too cold. That was really good. That was really good. You know what? I think we we want it. Um, that should be part of our like Christmas gift to ourselves. I want one of those chill like things. I want to redo our kitchen where we have a built-in <laughs> wine fridge or beverage fridge, like as part of our cabinet. But what's more practical right now? We can't just redo our kitchen. Kitchen remodel. No. Yes. Oh my gosh. Anyways, did anyone even notice what's new about our um, place? Place? I don't think I read anyone saying anything yet. Dang, T Beaver's been at happy hour since four. You get it, girl. Oh, Hello, sh- this is wine. Do you want to take a shot of... You know what? It could bread. be that night where as long as there's something in a glass, I will drink it. Angelina's trying the mango seltzer right now. Oh, truly, right? Yeah, I think so. The mango lemonade one? Yeah. Hi, Noah. And Mark's... Not Mark. Michael says, Mark is a history major, not math. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think for a future video, I might change the logo to say James and Mark, and then underneath history for, history major. <laughs> no, it's like it's like oh, that should be a drinking game one day. Like you know how you guys pick up, you've watched us enough to know like these inside jokes. So like if you bring up his being a history major, that's like automatic shot for you, right? If I do, I don't know something I normally do on the stream, then I take a shot. That should be a clap. Future. Oh, I do clap a lot. I was about to clap just right now, but I clap. Don't call us boring. Bye. <laughs> last week I was really triggered. So was that last week? Yeah, everything oh, happened in that one live stream. I felt like we talked about deodorant and the boring comment. Mm. Oh, it's not mm. bad. Oh, sh- oh yeah. What happened? You okay? Take a breather. I. I thought I open up the Josh Seller and not the Dark Horse only because I saw because the cap is white, but then uh, he kept saying it was green. So I was thinking, then I opened up the wrong one, but it's still the Dark Horse. Ooh, that soju is already in your system. I didn't have much. I had, oh, I had fried shrimp, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Uh, everyone send well wishes to Aura. I broke my leg. Oh, no. Oh, no. Get better soon. Yeah. Uh, Sam, we we shall see if Hedy will make an appearance. The last I checked, I tucked him into bed. <laughs> I don't, I don't think, I don't think he's getting up. Um, oh, so Emerita says, "Lights on tree." Kamu Young says, "Did you fix your tree?" And then went on to say, "The janky tree." I mean, he's like, ever since he saw that tree, he's been coming for it. Well, I'll have you know, this is an entirely new tree. Mark decided that it was time to let go of the other one. The other one was seven years old. Cause you did you look up an old order? Yeah, I pull it. It was one of my Amazon orders from 2013. Amazon it? existed in 2013. Wow. So yeah, Mark um did that whole offer, and now it's all lit. And it, actually, the other day I was just thinking like, oh, the even though the other tree was like nice to have, and but the fact that sections of it was not lit kind of like made me sad. So I brought it to work. Oh, okay. 
oh, and then you're just going to be able to like just put ornaments, put ornaments on, ornaments or on something, it. Or but it doesn't have to be lit. Right? Yeah. That's a good idea. It's, yeah. So it's it has to. It, you're not entirely costing them. Sometimes you get sad when something is like worn and done, and like it's lived, like outlived its purpose, that it gets thrown away. But it's nice that you found a way to like recycle it and give. It I tend legs. to personify even in in animate objects. What else? I mean, let's like, stick around to find out what other inanimate because I don't know what other inanimate objects you are attached to. Like power strips, scissors. <laughs> those I was like, why do we? Oh, yeah, it's good. I just no. I have fetish for those items. Don't I'm call not, it a fetish. A fetish implies that you're gonna stick the cord up somewhere. Okay, fetish doesn't always yeah. have to be sex. That okay, I, I, when you guys hear the word I fetish, have an attraction. Yeah, just to, to yeah, like, call it call it an attraction, but don't call it a fetish. Well, one could also say attraction could also be sexual, just as yeah, but it doesn't fetish. have that same connotation. You cannot argue with me on this. When you say something is an attraction versus a fetish, attraction is just like you gravitate towards it. Fetish is usually more the other thing. Find guilty pleasure. I don't think you feel guilty about it. Like, do I need another, you know, the fifth pair of scissors? No, so I'm guilty. Actually, yeah. every time I, I, I need a pair of scissors, I don't ever struggle to find one because we have just enough. Yeah. So maybe it's okay that we have five pairs of scissors. Though I, oh, we do have, yeah, we have two scissors in the bathroom. Two out here, one down there. Maybe one in the office. How many pairs of scissors do you guys have? <laughs> Anyways. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm saying this right, but Rachel says, Mark, are you into the Trudeau era? Like, what am I saying? Justin Trudeau? Like the Canadian prime minister? Are you into that? Do you have a fetish? <laughs> no, it's just an attraction. Oh, okay. pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, the two door era. Oh, you the autocorrect thing, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. I, I like um, that medieval era. I also like um, ink, like even Greek mythology. It, that's not real history, but it's historic stories about Xena, the warrior princess. Mm. Yes. Uh, Bubba says tape measures are my thing times eight, and I'm just waiting for Julie to come in with some kind of joke about that. What do you need so many tape measures, huh, Brad? Not Bubba? just one, but eight. Oh. <laughs> well, maybe you're different in each room. Maybe what? <laughs> Maybe it's like the different like environmental like factor in each room that makes it different. I, I mean, know. we can get to the truth or truth or drink game early, but the only thing that really should impact it is probably like like temperature. Right? Yeah. Oh, and carpenter pencils. There you go. Which I don't know what that is. <laughs> Eddie says, what about a magnifying glass? Bubba. <laughs> oh, Eddie is taking no prisoners today. Let's see. What would Eddie have a lot of? Um, <laughs> I'll just message that. To <laughs> <after>. <laughs> Young menses. Uh, Peak moves says, I just got here. I hit the like button. When I hit it, it said 50. It was 49. Now I made it 50. Is oh, it really 50? Okay. Let's confirm that. Where's the Joir sign? Um, it's actually in our, uh, that's actually something else that's changed, I guess. It's in our guest room uh, during this holiday season for now. Oh my gosh. And then another the word. Joy is, which is kind of like similar to Joir. Yeah. Wow. That's funny. That is funny. I never realized that. Huh. <laughs> Hi, Amanda. Welcome. Liz Lop says, today's the start of my two-week vacation from work, feeling very anxious with the rise in COVID. I want to thank you for the constant distraction with your videos. Thank you. Happy Friday. Yes, girl, get a happy, drink. Happy Friday. You distract us, too. Yeah, That's what we're here. Get your glass of cocktail, wine, beer, water, juice, apple cider, martinelli, whatever makes you happy. Cheers to that. Oh, Bonnie, yes, you're so fun with the Southern Snacker Live. I was living my best mod life in their live mm. video. So they got married and they did like a 
wedding live stream and then i was like modding i was like okay thank you thank you no you can't say that okay what about this like so i just after doing that it made me really appreciate all the mods that oh, yeah. come into our chat to handle it's, it's a lot of work yeah. you can't really listen passively because you're like so like focused on the comments making sure that everything is like orderly you know orderly orderly yeah. the couches have changed no so rachel it was this is just a christmas tree couches are still as is and Noah, we, we've been seeing your comments. Hello to you too. We replaced our Christmas tree. Yes. It's nice. It's pretty. It's lit. It's lit. And we also changed our we did we decided to do a different fireplace this Oh, so it actually has a mantle around it, yeah. not just the fire. Yeah. Yeah. Just thank you so much. Your energies are amazing. So is it the energy in general or after a soju and a little bit of wine? Oh, can someone confirm if we actually are at 50? Oh, yes. Yeah. And Cody says hello from Hanoi. Wow. You weren't there last week. Right? I thought Cody was from like Florida. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Florida. You're yeah. right. I think so. Yeah. Uh, Hannah's drinking a white claw with the, the raspberry one. And Amanda's having a Modelo Limoni Sal because Lord knows I really needed it. Yes. Oh, we all need that too. And Bubba's confirming that they do a lot of home improvement projects. So maybe he can do our kitchen then. Oh, hence the tape measure, smiley face, and uh, carpenter pencils. Yeah. yeah, between the measuring tape, the carpenter pencils, the power strips, and the scissors, we could build a new house, <laughs> right? Oh. We're at 60. Well, that's good to know. I will change it to a hundred, and I guess we have to take our next shot, and then we're gonna get straight to cooking. Now I'm a little nervous because the more we drink early on, the less we'll be able to like not drink later during the questions. I'll have you guys know. So our friend Laura B, she's in the chat. Um, oh, okay. she, I don't know if she's oh. here right now, but I think she's waiting for the juicy part. She actually came up with the questions. We didn't swear that we didn't look at the questions yeah, just so that we have that like shock Surprise, factor of like, yeah. uh, should we answer this? Should we not? So, but knowing her, they might be dirty questions. I did preface like, do not do ten sexual questions. Oh, I like just said, kind of do a mix. Up. You oh, know, like, did you like, you know, did you sharp before? Like, fine, I can talk about that if I need to. You know, like, I want to mix. But sharding could be dirty to some people too. Like, dirty. Okay. How do I use it? Air quotes should be my other thing. I get punished for. Okay, I'm gonna pour myself a little bit more wine, but I'm gonna stick this back in the fridge. Ooh! Oh, is is wine chase with soju a good idea? Do you want just a quick refill? Yeah. Okay. Well, Chastity, you did build a fence, so I can imagine why you would be sick of home projects. So it's okay to take a break when you need to. And Laura is actually here. She says, "I'm gonna send more, girl. We will." So what, what we'll do is we'll do the first 10, mm -hmm. and if you want to do more, then you got to play too, okay? This is tip for a tap. And <laughs> Avril says, hi, guys. Having homemade chicken taquitos, rice and beans with you all. Shout out to you and all the mods. Had my first virtual event on StreamYard. Went good, but have to learn from you all to perfect. Well, I'm glad it went overall. It went well. Oh, that's good. Uh, yeah. Do I bring this though? Yesenia, cheers to you as well. You guys hit that thumbs up button. Share this video. Okay, we're just gonna slowly cook. You know, this, yeah. this is not a you know a speed test. No, yeah, we got we don't got anywhere to go after this, so we can we're gonna start doing slow cooker recipes on these live videos. It's like, okay, we're gonna make roast beef. All right, you guys, just wait three hours with us. Who's seen our, um, was it our steak video? Which steak video? Oh, the date night one? The date night at home video. Yeah. Did you guys see that? That was released on Wednesday. It was, yeah, and if you haven't seen it, it's okay. Just It's uploaded so you can watch it. But we did a date night at home. We did a steakhouse experience a la casa. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, it's like... Yeah, it's like ahead. linguine a la bon, whatever. A la, a la bon, yeah, I don't know what the word is. But uh, but in that video, I was so proud of this olive oil bottle because 
the spout is built in mm -hmm. and there's a spring to it. So like it just pops open. I like that, you know? And we finally busted out our new, ooh, our new, um, what are these called? Pan sets? Yeah, our pen sets and yeah. we got the hexaclad. Yeah. We definitely have had Takis before. And Gamer Video says, I will go to Japan to eat at Sushi Saito 3 Michelin Star in Tokyo in the next two years. That's ambitious, and we cannot wait for you to go to Japan, period. Uh, Hannah, we actually just talked to our family yesterday, and we all decided it's best for us to just stay home uh, for the holidays. So we'll probably just FaceTime each other. Favorite sushi? Mark is a really big fan of, like, Okoro, like, bluefin tuna, right? I like bluefin tuna. Um, I like yellowtail. I like everything. Yeah. Bubba says, Julie got me a $20 platinum wedding ring from China. Does this define our marriage? Absolutely not. Her love for you defines your marriage. You know, they, you know, after we do this truth or drinking, we should just do segments where we invite other couples to play. And you guys, I think, would be oh, very that hilarious. Would, that would be fun, actually, yeah. for truth and drink. So we shall see. Uh, Samantha Jones and Olivia says, I can finally stay for your whole video. I'm on school break. Awesome. How was your school semester or quarter? Now you get to enjoy winter break. Yeah. Uh, Tony asked, or T Beavers asked, why no presents under the tree? Because he's sitting right here. He can't sit under the tree the entire stream. So we are making a bread crumb garlic, garlic bread crumbs, mm -hmm. toasted with some olive oil. So we want, we're gonna top our linguine mm. with clams with this, but I wanna make this first yeah. because you could just make it and set it aside, you know? And Swerve TTV from Twitch, Thank you so much for congratulating us on the affiliate status. Um, if you guys are new to our stream and have not been here before, first of all, hit that subscribe button and answer these three questions in the chat. Where are you from? What's your favorite food? And how did you find us? Jordan Thomas says, hi, James and Mark. I'm hashtag team James. You know what? If you're on my team, then you're on his team and vice versa. That's just how it works. Except when I get loud later, then you can choose sides. Barb Barton says, hey, I'm new. Well, Barb Barton, we're going to highlight your comment. Everyone say hello to Barb Barton. Welcome to our channel. Everyone say mm. hi to Barb. And please consider subscribing because we're actually trying to hit 20,000 subscribers by end of the year. And you could really help us get there. So I, when you do your little pitch, it really does remind me of Smokey the Bear. But, just anytime that you use that, like inflection time, and I tone, I didn't do it. Though. I know, but now I think you, because you've done it in it's, the past, I just a, hear it naturally. Like only you can get us to twenty k subscribe. Like, but you're not saying it that way. But that's what I hear. Okay. And Julie says, "Who are you kidding? Twenty dollars? No, honey, eleven dollars for that ring. She bargained. That's okay. The other nine dollars was for the sushi on Monday." <laughs> You know, we do got to eat. Yeah. Jess says, I'm on my last day of self-quarantine before two COVID tests so I can go home. Well, we really wish that you get home very safely. Hannah says, I recently watched the sushi boat mukbang and was debating on whether to buy the same thing. So here's, here's the real deal. We've used it three times. Three times, yeah. And all three times they were amazing, but when you don't use it, then you realize how much space it takes. It's in our it's, guest room closet, I it, think. It's, I don't even think it made it to the closet. It's in our guest room. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. It's cute. We did it. We actually used it for our last party we threw here before COVID. Uh, COVID. Yeah. We did a blackjack party back in February, and one of the things we served were California rolls. And, we and we're like, let's just you put it on the boat, and then that'll be a wow factor. But and everyone, sure enough. But everyone was like, oh, this looks cool. Yeah. It's, just a, it's just a nice vessel to display your sushi or your rolls, especially if you're doing like a potluck or a party. Yeah, yeah something very easy to do. Michael E. suggests sit under a tree is for Wheel of Doom. 
<laughs> yeah. I don't think I could fit under there. Maybe Mark. Like, Mark is definitely out of the two of us. If there's a situation where we need to grab something, like not each other, but like something drops in like a crack or something. Uh, Again, like a crack in a car or something. He's the one that will go in and grab it because he's flexible and thinner, not as girthier. Does this look toasted? It seems toasted. Maybe you should try a little bit or you should turn the heat down a little bit so we don't because it could go from toast to burn like real quick, right? Yeah, the color changed a lot. Um, you know what? I don't know if this is indoors improved, but I'm almost certain it is. Mm. Oh, it it's tastes good. like garlic bread. Oh, but don't In eat a lot because it's dry. Oh, it burned my tongue. <clears throat> yeah, I caught it in my throat. Oh no, it, it did that thing where it burned the tip, and so now I'm not gonna have taste buds for like a few days. Maybe a little wine will help that. Oh, it's good though. <clears throat> oh. Yes, swear we've built a really great community and we're super appreciative of it. And so uh, hopefully, hopefully, you enjoy this video enough to stick around. Everyone is so nice here. Avril says, as a little girl, I love to lay under the tree and watch the lights twinkle. That sounds so angelic and pure. I love that. I think we would have been sad if we did that with our old tree because it would be like half lit. Bowman, welcome. You are one of our, I would say, very consistent Twitch viewers. So we really appreciate you keeping the Twitch part of our stream alive. Andre says, hi, welcome. And TV viewers, they had jambalaya and garlic bread for dinner. There's 20 gifted subs in your Twitch. Is there really? Did I? I don't even know how to check that. Okay, so. <clears throat> We have our toasted breadcrumb with garlic. We had, I don't know if we said it because we're so into the comment, but mm. we already had some chopped garlic with the breadcrumb and we just toasted that with olive oil. And then we're adding a little bit of salt and then some lemon zest. Mm. And then with this, you don't even need to add squeezed lemon afterwards. Cause it's gonna, have, it's gonna have the citrus flavor anyways. You know? Excellent. Do you wanna try this? Mm -mm. I've done it before. Oh, and thanks to Donna, Barb was recommended to us by Donna. Oh, we thank appreciate you. Appreciate that. Chazang, you can do it on day 13 of no alcohol, just seeing how long you can go without lovely libations. You can make it. Yesenia says, My sweater looks like moons with craters. Does Mark's sweater look like a creamsicle, though? Just a little bit, man. Yeah. No, I appreciate that, Swerve. Thank you so much. We will check it uh, later on in the stream. And do you like your guys? Do you guys like your wine chilled? We absolutely, absolutely love our with, wine chilled. With white wine, it's good chilled. Some red is good chilled too, like the lighter reds, like some of the Pinot Noirs or uh, like the light-bodied reds. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's good chilled. Up, we really appreciate it. Thank you for the gifted subs. And Evelyn says, I just got my results back. I am negative. Now time to party. Yes. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Oh, you could smell the lemons. Mm, in there, huh? mm -hmm. It's interesting. That'll be really nice with the uh, um, the clams later. Okay, so we'll set this aside. <laughs> Samantha, either way, if you sleep, the video will be here. Unless it gets really juicy later, then we won't repost it. But it's fine. We have plenty of videos, plenty of other opportunities for you to watch us. We're just so happy that you decided to join us for today. Okay, so we're getting set up to do the. Sauce. We're gonna make the sauce. Yeah. Okay. 
Oh, we only we have we just only have this much olive oil left. I think um, might be able to let's see if we could just we might have to use all of it. Yeah, all of it, all of it. So, Swerve, you gotta get me up to speed. How do gifted subs work? Because I've gifted a sub before, but. What it just that? goes to a ramp, like so on Twitch. It's very similar to almost like a channel membership. I so, didn't know what that means. So you um, basically pay a monthly subscription to support your oh, favorite streamer. Oh yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah. Um, apparently, Swerve did twenty subs, so that's like gifting it to twenty people in our subscription thing. So I have to go back and look. But if you can explain it to me, that that will save me a lot of time. And yes, this is part of that new pot set. Our pan set. So this was saying. actually technically called a walk. But oh, this I, is the walk. But I thought this might be easier to use to make our pasta linguine sauce instead of um, a frying pan, you know? Yeah. All right, so we have some, oh, we sliced up a lot of garlic very thinly. I don't know if you all could mm. see that, but these are thin slices. And then we also have some diced charlots. 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 So we're going to let that cook a little bit. And just as I love the honeycomb design in the pot. It looks very futuristic -y to me. So one reason why we bought this is because um, the type of material, you could use metal utensils and it won't scratch it up. Which is great for me because I, ner I nervously always cook and I'm like, can I even use this utensil on this? If, if it's the honeycomb design, it means I can like bring a rake to it and it'd be fine. <gasps> what is that? You guys, what is this? We It's blurry on purpose. So instead of using salt to flavor our linguine pasta, we're going to... Add some anchovies. Why does canned anchovies. fish always come in like that kind of container or like a circle or like cylinder -y? Like, why is it always like and that? And I, I always think of a cartoon that uh, where the cat's like, ooh, fancy dinner, and they get always this can and they peel off the lid, you know? No. I just imagine Hedy and then he's wearing a little handkerchief and he's waiting for that. Because sometimes Hedy reminds me of a cat. Um, Kelly, we're gonna send you well wishes. Her whole family got COVID, so oh, no, no New Year's activities for us. Yes, stay home and rest well. I hope everyone recovers well. Yeah. All right, do you want it? Okay, maybe this should be on the wheel. Should we eat a filet? Isn't that really, it's really gonna be salty? salty. So, okay. This is what one piece looks like if I could actually grab one. Oh no, it's so delicate. Yeah, that it kind I don't of think you're apart. gonna be able to. Yeah, How much so, are you adding? You're gonna eat it? Yeah. Oh. So do Should I have we? to eat it? No, I don't think so. You don't would, maybe it. a bite. Okay. Let's just try it. It's gonna be salty. Mmm. Mm, not bad. Oh, not bad. Oh, it's salty though. Mmm. Whoa. How much do you add of that? Like, a like that little fillet. It's really salty. That's why we're not gonna add, well, we're gonna salt to taste, but if you're gonna add anchovies to this, you don't need to add a lot of salt. Oh, I don't know if you can see, but our garlic and shallots are nicely um, being cooked in the olive oil. Yeah. If you guys are a big fan of anchovies, let us know in the chat. Uh, Bubba says, will James ever wear a shirt on his head again? That was awesome. Uh, I do it all the time. I don't know for a live stream, but we could add that to the wheel. <laughs> you guys are coming up with some good um, wheel of wonder ideas. <laughs> Megan, welcome. Those are great keto snacks. Yeah, because you eat like half of it and you're like, I'm done. I don't want to eat anymore. Or if you hate water. 
water. If you don't like to drink water, yeah, just eat one anchovy filet, and you're gonna want to down a gallon of water. So if you're if your New Year resolution is to drink water because you hate to drink it, this is your secret hidden card <laughs> to use to get you to drink more water. Hydration squad, yeah, remind us to drink. You know, I wanted to show the clams too. Oh yes. So Mark uh, went to Sprouts earlier. He got two pounds of clams, which came out to around $16 because it was $8 a pound. So he's been, um, he put the clams. So we, we washed them and then we had them soaking in water with salt and they're kind of like drunk now because they've been spitting out sand from their mouths for the past couple of hours. Mm. So you kind of see them opening up their mouths and they're like bubbly and they're spitting. Oh, wow, a lot of stuff came out. Yeah, because the water was clear earlier. It was right? clear, yeah. Yeah. So let me rinse this really fast. Favorite ice cream flavor, cookies and cream. I kind of look like cookies and cream. Mark says, Pecan Fraley, right? Yeah, that's one of my favorites. One of his faves. And Barb, we will take shots when we hit our like goal or if we're forced to play one of our Super Chat games, which looks like we will have to because we got two Super Chats that just came in, one from Jane. Jane says, I'm your triplet today wearing my sweater right now too. So Jane has the same sweater that Mark is wearing. Okay, so we have to play at least one game. And then we got another super chat from Rachel. Thank you so much for the super chat. We really appreciate it. All right, so we, we owe you guys two games. So while Mark is busy cleaning the clams over there, I'm going to uh, – what was I going to do? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shuffle the cards. So Autumn says, love the sweaters. Is this the same Autumn or is this a different Autumn? Because the, the person that – Design these is named Autumn, but I don't know if this is the same Autumn. Autumn Row? I don't know. I bet Show you yourself. I bet you it's the same. Autumn. I can't tell. The, the profile picture is really small on my end, so I can't really see. But if this is the Autumn, you are just leave your Instagram in the chat, and then you guys can be potentially quadruples with us because Jane has it on, Mark has it on, I have it on. So if you want a sweater, just like this. The socks are very comfy too. Dana, welcome. Thank you for reminding everyone to like this video. Yes, it's super important. So Mark right now is adding a couple of slivers of anchovy. So again, some of you are like, oh, I don't like anchovy. So the by the time that you eat the final dish, it's kind of like Caesar salad. Like I don't really taste you don't anchovy taste in anchovies, it, but you taste sure. the salty brininess from it, but that's about it. You don't taste the fishy in this part, so yeah. And then we're adding some red pepper flakes because that's really good in oil when you cook it down. And then I like spicy, so I'm yeah. just, tell me when to stop. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be kimchi jjigae clam. Yeah. Oh, it is, it is Autumn. She says, it's me. Thank you for supporting my small business. Of course, your packaging with the little Hello Kitty pin. Who gets to keep the pin? You or me? We need new fire. Oh, we need new fire. Right. Okay. Where is it? Is it over there? Yeah. Okay. Oh, no. We have it. Oh. Oh, what happened? That's weird. Yeah. Okay. Um, T. Hill, I never try to grow a mustache. It just looks a little bit more pronounced today for some reason. Ooh, that's a good point. Bubba says, I think Mark needs an apron so he doesn't mess up his sweatshirt. Yeah. Do you want one? I'll grab you one. The gray one would look nice on me, though. Should I just wear one even though I don't need it? <laughs> and you're not going to wear anything? Okay. And then. 50 more likes and Mark will take off this. Let's add some wine. So, this is the same wine that we're drinking with. 
Ooh. Why does wine and seafood need to be cooked together, huh? Ooh. I don't know, but we're using it. So, Kim Young wrote more butane, but are you sure you're not like trying to text somebody else a different word and you accidentally <laughs> did it here in the stream? I'm just, just asking, just to confirm. Donna says, hi, welcome. All right, do you want to add our clams in? Yes, do we just add it all the way? Add it all the way, yeah. And you've already drained it so there won't be any crazy, like, splatter. So we got some two pounds of live um, little neck. I don't know why they're called little neck, but they're called little neck clams. Yeah, why are they called little neck? Maybe is there a neck for clams? Maybe they have necks, yeah, in this little. Uh, I'm wearing the apron because I don't think Mark wanted it for his aesthetic. So just to please Baba, I just wore it for him. I could wear it. Oh, uh, okay. I could wear one. Oh. Do you want this one though? I think this will look better on you. Really? We should get new aprons though. That is true. <gasps> you know what? A Mark and James apron seems like a good merch to have. Because we do cook. I think we do cook more than the average mukbanger. But now mm. I actually don't know if that's true or not. We live stream more than the average American mukbanger. Is that true? Okay, then maybe. Teresa, that's a great idea. Actually, that might be a good idea just for a uh, video. Do a guess the taste game. So take a plate and put some salt, peanut butter, sriracha, mustard, lemon, some nasty things. The name that comes up on the wheel tastes blindfolded. It's so much fun. Oh. oh, good for you. That's a great New Year's resolution is to drink more water. They have a couple of cool apps to like really help you with that. And, and then also trying. some water bottles that are good where it actually tells you like, how you're progressing against your goal. Some people in my work, they actually have a gallon, you know, the sparkless like water jug. Yeah, yeah. It, it looks like that, but it's a miniature version and that is one gallon. So that's how they keep track. It's like, I just want to drink one of these a day. Right. So you don't even need to track like how many glasses did I do? How or what did I do? Just fill that up in the morning and then make sure you just finish it by the time you leave work. Also, Mark, we made our first sale. Bubba will be the first one to buy an apron for Julie. All right, we're going to hold you to that. Maybe our second merch item should be measuring tapes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's shout out. Let's shout out Sarah Morales. Hi, finally catch a live new subscriber. Ooh, Thank you so much. Yay. Welcome. And since you're new, please answer these three questions in the chat. Do you like wine? Just kidding. Uh, where are you from? Question. What's your favorite food? And how did you find us? Yeah. And Barb and Donna are drinking with us both. We're so excited that we have a bunch of people here hanging out with us tonight. And Rush Girl says, I love your cooking segments. You definitely cook more than the average American mukbanger. Hi, Bree. Welcome to our stream. <laughs> Mary says, has Kamu Young decided if he's going to move in with you? The other day, there was this whole exchange about him moving in, and then we like said no and yes, and then I don't know where he stands at this point. Move in. <laughs> move in. And uh, Dika, am I saying your name right, or is it Dekka? Let me know. It says, hi, guys. What's up? What's up? Oh, we have to play the two of these. <gasps> two? Yeah, Since when did that happen? It was while well, you're... Um, Cleaning the clams. Oh, okay. So we got to earlier. Thank you guys so much. All right, ready? And these are little neck clams, not manila. No, little neck clams. And we're just letting it cook for a few minutes. And so they open. should open up on yeah. its own. Yeah. Because, like, I don't want the hot. Two. So that's the lowest. So you have to guess black or red next. Red. Mm. Okay. Do you want to do both of your turns now? Okay. So I, new, oh, new turn. Queen. Lower. Six. Higher. Oh, I had to take two shots. Yeah, okay. Oh, no. We're not going to get to the truth or drink game. Four. Four. Higher. Jack. Lower. Two. Two. Red. 
Four. Okay, four reds. Okay, good. And then higher. Even though I saw the card, but I would have guessed higher anyways. Okay. <laughs> Come on, James has to get okay. this one wrong. Nine. Lower. I think it's higher, though. So, 2-1. Two, 2-1, one. Two, one. Okay. okay. That's not that bad. Thank you guys for the super chats again. And uh, let us know where we're at with the like poll, because we might as well... Or, might as well get that done too. I have I'm, to take two shots. Oh, we're, we're a little, we're a little away, so okay. we're okay. We're so away. I, I have some breathing room. A little bit of breathing room. Okay. We're not gonna make it to the truth, or it might have to be like to be continued to next week. <sighs> Woo! Why did I scream so much last week? Okay, I just did my two. Yeah, you're yeah. good. I screamed a lot last week. I don't know. Does anyone remember why I screamed a lot last week? <laughs> Hi, Bloth. Welcome. Angelina, you got your drinks on deck, right? Eddie says, I was just going to visit, but damn, y'all needy. Okay, you know what? I'm like done with this exchange. Kemu okay, Young. So I'm putting oh. the pasta now. So Mark is uh, cutting the linguine. He's adding it to the boiling water off camera. We can't show you guys that right now, though. Santa Foodie Foodie 52 says, hey guys, welcome. James, because you were super buzzed. Was I, Joy? Was I? How long does the linguine take to... Uh... So the package says 10 minutes, but I'm going to need to do maybe five minutes because we're going to cook it in the sauce. And usually when the package suggested time, is it always al dente? That's because that's the preferred firmness, I think. I, I think it's always safer to err on the side of like doing less time than the time it says on the package because you end up cooking it in the sauce a lot more. Yeah, for sure we're doing it less time. Is this one of those handles where the handles actually get hot? Or? No, this one actually is metal, but it's oh. actually cool. Oh. Thank you, Marianne. And James says, shot, shot, shot. So, well, we took we took the two already, and then I took the one. And oh my God, Jen, I just took two chummies back to back just right now. We're 13 away from more shots. And again, stick around probably in about 30, no, probably in like 40 minutes or so, we're going to play our truth or drink game. So if you really want us to drink, stick around for that. Oh, Angelina, thank you so much. She says, I love the style of your date night video. That was really cash. It was very cash. Very cash. Don't I mean, if it was a funny. true date night, we probably would have been a little bit more naked in it, but because we were on camera. What yeah. date do we go where we don't wear clothes? You've cooked like half naked before. Uh, biggest mistake because I got I got burned on my on my side right here. Um, and the scar, Still by now, it kind of has gone down, but. So I tell him, never cook steak without a shirt on now. And he's learned his lesson. Uh, yeah, what, that's a great question. Uh, you guys drop it in the chat, TV, or ask anyone working next week like me. I have three days of work. I'm like, I have the same schedule. Three days of work, yeah. Island Candies, welcome. Hi, Stray Cat. Okay, do you want to see this? Oh. Whoa. Now, is there any way to, is this handle hot? No. Is there a way to just tilt it without the, can you guys see that? Ooh. So right now, if you guys just joined, we are making, what's the French? Linguini a la, la bol. Moignon, I don't know. Can you bring <laughs> that glass bowl? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to take the cook pans out. And they, if you want to be my eyes, make sure that the ones that are still closed stay um, in the pot. 
Okay. Either stay in the pot because they need to be cooked more, or um, they just never made it in before we even started cooking. Mm. Angelina's cooked sausage in a sports bra, but doesn't do that anymore. No, girl. I You probably learned your lesson, too, like me. Oh. I needed to buy some bio oil to get rid of my scar marks. Jasmine, welcome to the live stream. Thank you for being here. If you guys haven't yet, hit that like button. We're 11 likes away from our next shot. I think we're three shots deep right now. You know, You're up one more. Than you know what? Are. All of our clams are good. I, ha I haven't yeah. seen any closed ones. No, I think it really helped that you uh, put the lid on top. Okay. okay. Vongole? Is that I don't Vongole, know. yeah. Vongole? So this is going to be... <gasps> All, all where all the flavor is. All so that this flavor. Has, this has the anchovy in it. It has the clam juice. It has the garlic and the shallots. Oh, you have to try this. Oh my I'm gonna god! Burn my tongue again? No, no, no! Just blow on it. It's... Oh, you like? You're like living right now. The <laughs> sauce is good. I have to do it like how you taste test in TV or movies. James is so careful. I no. could just drink this like soup, huh? You know what? All of the oh, sorry. You, all of the flavor in the clams permeated into the juices <laughs> of the wine. Why is my hand really wet? Why is it wet? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. Has it been five minutes, guys? I don't think it's been five minutes. Maybe like four. <laughs> We're close, though. Uh, Angelina says, "Do you guys eat anchovies any other ways?" I have been. I bought them several times, and I've been too scared to try them. We've had them on pizza. Mm -hmm. um, there's a couple of different stocks that are made of anchovies in Korean cooking a lot. Oh yeah. So, but those are dried anchovy, which is not the salt. But aside from that, yeah, that's about it. And we did put wine in the sauce island candies. Okay, is there room for me to bring the pasta over? Right here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Mark is bringing the pasta over very carefully. OMG James, I love your crew neck. I just got a sweatsuit in that same color pattern. So then you're just as hip as me then. Hip, hip. Okay, so Ooh. we're gonna add some <gasps> pasta water to Why? this. Why? Why is Mark adding pasta water to this? Let us know in the chat before he tells you. Oh. You know, we just wanna see who knows what they're saying. Kimberly, thanks for dropping by. We've missed you too. I hope you've been well. Okay, so while while they're guessing right now, why why do you put this pasta water in said sauce? Because the sauce that we just made is yeah. so concentrated. It is. So it, it to, actually was very concentrated. You needed to dilute it. And then Lydia's kitchen, what's her name? Liz, Lydia, Lydia Bastian. Lydia Bastian to say, never add water to your sauce if you have a pasta water. Do that instead. Use pasta water instead. So I feel like there's doing. some magic starch that gets like drained into the water and you need to use it for the cooking. Yeah. Uh, thicken the sauce and help the sauce stick to the pasta. You know what? Those sound right. Binding to thicken the sauce. Yes. All those are, is, the answer is all of the above. The all of the above. Okay, I'm gonna then add all of her. Uh, Elda, we did not yet book a flight. I think tomorrow's the last day, right? Yeah, we need we need to though. We want to thought about it. We want to. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's a great question. After presumably COVID has gotten settled down and you guys are able to travel, where would you guys want oh, to go? Good question. Where would you want to go and let us know? We want to do a meetup. Like we are ready to do a meetup again. It's been like a year and a half since our last meetup. Okay, so 
We got the sauce here. We got the linguine in here with a little bit of the water from the linguine. We and got then, our clams here. And then we could always add more uh, salt if the if the anchovies didn't do enough, you know? Right. It's hard to take salt. If you put too much salt, that's too hard to like go back in time. Guys, we are one like away from another shot. <laughs> We're at 99 <laughs> right now. Share this with someone you know and say, you know what, just top on your YouTube account and just like this video. <laughs> um, TV Beaver says, any damn where in all caps. I want to go there too. I want to go to underwear. <laughs> well, you need to wear it to start out. <gasps> oh my God, I just saw butt cheek. <gasps> you know what? Okay, so here's this new debate. Uh, but I want to wait till you sit down before we debate about it. Or should we just debate it now? What do you mean? There's a debate about butts that's going around on the internet. What? And I don't know if you are ready for this or not. I don't know. Mark Jose says, hi, guys. Looking really good. Thank you. Uh, Island says, garnish with parsley. Absolutely. We were born yesterday. Mark is already on top of that. And we're at 110 likes. Wow. 11 of you decided to wake up and say, okay, let's click on the like button. So our next like goal is at 150. You know what? The more alcoholic lubricated we get, the better the <laughs> truth or drink game is going to be. Right? Oh, Claimer, Huntress. I'm going to... I'm going to... I don't ever need that as my pickup line, but if I ever were to have one, I would use Claimer Huntress's. What would she say? I'm a natural thickener. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That is, girl, you need to just put that on a shirt and make merch for that. I would buy that. Am I a natural thickener? Or yeah. am I just thick? <laughs> You're just thick. Girl. girl? <laughs> oh, that's a good thing too. Yeah. Baby. What? Love me. Okay. Oh, love it. Love, love, love that. So we got we got some different uh, places. Korea, we want to go to Korea, Texas, Costa Rica, Rome, Istanbul. Oh if we did do a meetup in Korea, would people come? I think we have like two Korean viewers. I know, but would, non would you all come? Our friend, uh, I, I can't say her name so you know, so i think we have similar, to bring yeah. we have to go somewhere that has uh is she like high or she, like, she likes height there we go we will get height julie says you said but you have my attention oh i don't think you need salt for sure tiho mark's not need this only at home though okay so the debate about the butts real quick oh, yeah, though yeah, yeah, yeah. is there's a debate on whether the butt is two considered two parts or one part People are debating about it like ferociously. A butt is a butt. You only have one butt. But I know. But the are the, the people on the other side are arguing, well, because there's a left cheek and a right cheek, those are independent butts. They don't want to be lumped as one butt. That's the left cheek, that's the right cheek. It's not two butts. It's either two butts or one butt. So what do you think? Because I already know my answer. I have no opinion right now. And Gina is here, and Gina is someone that I would love. To explain her answer, and I would just go along with Gina's what Gina's because she's possibly. very logical. She's very logical. I feel Gina. I don't know if you heard any of this, but is the butt one body part or two body parts? Please, anyone else in chat, please let us know. Laura says y'all getting hammered before the truth drink, and I'm here for I'm it. Of... I'm very curious. What Wait, did we hit our light pole? We need to drink more. Oh shoot, we do need to drink more. If we get to 200 viewers on the stream, we'll take another shot. The pasta needs to be cooked maybe another two minutes. Mm. Yeah. But the flavor is there, huh? The flavor is super there. <laughs> Nori Nori says, what a stupid debate. It's obviously one part, right? Um, oh, let's see. Island Candy says one. The booty has two cheeks. One. Just as one. There was a show, Little Women, and one was left cheek, and one girl was called right cheek. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, my gosh. Paul would want to go to Bali. We wouldn't mind going Bali either. 
One butt, two cheeks. Okay, that sounds like something you should not look up online, guys. It's like one body. It's like two and a half broke girls. What was that show? <laughs> two and a half men, but you combine two. You you combine two broke show? girls. Oh, two broke girls. <laughs> <laughs> you just combine that. How do you do that? Sometimes I am so amazed at how Mark's brain works and doesn't work at the same time. Two and a half broke girls is what you said. <laughs> Uh, just like you have a you have one mouth but two lips it seems like most of the room sounds very one body part like what was I, your verdict one body part one for body sure part? Okay. because um because uh like a peach yes would you, when you buy a peach would you say I bought two peaches because there's a butt on it. No, you say I only bought one peach and it's the whole piece. You know? Oh, that's that is the best argument I've heard thus far. And I just got thrown into this debate recently. Okay, move the grill. Put the little thingy in my bobber. And then we're going to <sighs> add so much butter. Butter. Is there any cheese in this dish at all? There's we, none, right? No, but we could add it. No, no, no. It's, it's all what normally you there's do. no cheese, right? I don't know. I don't think. Cindy, welcome. Tahiti or Bora Bora? Yes. I mean, anywhere where we all are required to our thongs, I support it. At this rate, it sounds like we need to have a separate video where we just talk about this because the, the chat, I've never seen it this lively before. People have very strong opinions about whether the button is one or two. I'm curious about the blue dress or the gold dress. Don't bring up that. That's so <laughs> 2017, 16? 15 maybe. What, you, wait, that was frustrating because me and Mark saw different things. Yeah. Um, you actually saw the white and gold, right? I, I totally see the white and gold. I saw the blue and that was all I saw. Really? Yeah, I didn't see the other at all. Ooh, sorry. Who's who asked about parsley earlier? Island candies, and here we go. So we added, we added maybe what is this? Maybe three tablespoons of butter. Oh, we're just, it looks so beautiful. We're just melting that in, and then we added all of our parsley in here. Bubba says I have two speedos, and I'm trying to think of the context. Is it because we're talking about butts? Because he thinks there's or, two butts. Dude, that's why you need to buy a speedo uh, for I e. thought I thought he needed two speedos to package everything in there. <laughs> that's how I read it. Butter, yes. Uh, I think we use more Netflix than Hulu. Do we still have a Hulu? Account? We still do, but we don't. We don't. We should watch. I don't yeah. know why. I feel like even with Amazon Prime, like there's so many good content. We just don't watch. We only yeah. watch Netflix. So Joy B is writing her thesis here. She says, when you talk about it out loud, do you put one hand in a curve or two when referring to a booty? It's like this, no. So the booty is one. Mm. <laughs> Dang, she, she, she drawn little like emoji diagrams. Okay, breadcrumb topping on top right now. So this is gonna be a topping for when we plate, but then um, we're gonna add some in right now too. And we still owe you guys a shot for the 100 because I don't think we hit that yet. Well, we hit the 100, but we didn't do it yet is what I mean. Uh, we're only at 113 likes, so we're in good condition to not have to take another one until we have to play the game. You guys just join the stream and have not yet subscribed. Hit that subscribe button. We stream every Monday and Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. And answer these two questions if this is your first time here. Where are you from? What's your favorite food? And how did you find us? You see that? The clam move. Well, perfect timing. Let's add the clams back in. Can I just dump it on top? As dump it on top. I'm going to toss it. <gasps> Baby, it looks so... Oh, do you want to get some of this? Sure. I don't want any of your work to go to waste. Oh, so Kemu Young was into Queen's Gambit. So was Chazang. Should we just eat from this pot? I think so. Oh. Or should we... What do you guys think? Just eat from here? We'll eat from here, but still have our little plates to catch things, right? Okay. Let's do that. I still like the black aesthetic. 
Stray Cat says Mark is still innovative cooking. He really surprises me because literally, what was it? What time was it today? 11 o'clock calls me. He's like, what should we do for live today? And I'm like, well, I don't know. What do you think we should do? And then somehow you suggested this. Yeah, I, I had to look up a couple of recipes. And he comes home and he has everything ready to go. So I'm a lucky uh, Lady James <laughs> with Sir Mark. Suzanne Stevens, welcome. Never would have thought of breadcrumbs. The breadcrumbs, I think, is going to take it next level. Eat from the pot like paella, Gina says. Okay, you got it. <laughs> Island candies, we ate. Actually, we didn't get to. Eat. We didn't finish the brown bread from Cheesecake Factory in time. No, we we can't finish bread with the two of us. Yeah. You know? And Paul says, "Can Mark cook for me, please?" Get in line. Get in line. Take a number. Come on over. Of course. Of course. Okay. And I hope Whatever. no one ever misunderstands my sassiness as a way. It's just how I, that's my love language. If I'm mean to you and I'm sassy to you, that means I like you, right? Mark knows. He's like, tone it down a bit. Oh, what's that? Just what are you adding? Extra red pepper. More red pepper? Earlier I said stop and you did five seconds after I said stop. Just for color. It's um, just before we start though, should we take that shot so that we know that we're like done with that and then we can join, enjoy, not join. Enjoy said wine. New York City, Maxine, I miss you Monday, but you're here Friday and that's all that matters. Uh... How did she like that? What you know what, Bubba? You're I don't mind this, but you're a lot more talkative than Julie tonight. Oh. But he says Julie totally got a McRib the day after you made yours. That's out of all the things that you guys can tell us on our channel, when you try the food that we either make or like buy and you you send us a picture that you've tried it as well, that's a really high form of compliment for us. Yeah, because it makes us that's the it, whole point. It just gives us a little bit of confidence boost that people were craving yeah. to eat something that they saw and they saw because of our channel. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. Thank you for that. Thanks Thank for you. sharing too. Cheers. What is this for? The like goal? This is the for the hundred likes, yeah. Ooh, okay. I still have my white wine. Do you just need a fork? Yeah. I don't know if this is the twirly spoon thing, and it is a hex clad uh, pan, Nicole. We should have done like an unboxing of this or something because a lot, I didn't know people would know what this is. This yeah. could be a discard. Okay, like okay. Yeah. Oh, right, so let's try. You this. do a good, good first bite first. Look at this. Oh, <gasps> it looks so delicious. It does. You right? you would pay good money to eat a dish like this at a restaurant outside. For like, real. How much would you pay? like? Is this like a? It's four, probably a twenty this, two twenty four dollar. This, this portion would be. Oh, out. this portion would be way more because this is like family style. Family style. It probably this is like forty eight dollars. Family style. Maybe, yeah, maybe like forty four if you have a Groupon. So. <laughs> but this restaurant wouldn't take Groupon. Okay. This one's like the fancy one where they like bring the fresh bread to your table. Oh my god. Okay. I did it like you. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. Okay, ready? Yep. Oh. Mm. Mm. Yeah, we don't need to add lemon because the lemon zest earlier from the bread in the breadcrumbs helped. Yeah. You definitely taste the lemon zest in here. So let's have a clam. Oh, why do I have a chopstick? Because you're Mark. <laughs> I ask you why you have a chopstick like 80% of the time, mm, and now the, you're asking? Oh, the pan cooks so beautifully. Isn't mm. it? I'm going to seize my hand. I'm like, mm. Oh, the clams are good. Is it clam season? Like, what's going on? Wow. <laughs> we that is another form of compliment when you show our videos to other people. They showed our video to mom saying the ramen and soft tofu video when I was reading home and she said her and my dad needed to try to make it. Yeah, it's so that one oh, was really so easy nice. to make. So if you're craving 
Sundubujige and you don't want to make it or go somewhere, just have some Yordamion and Sundubu. It kind of yeah. tastes like it. Uh, Paul, when was the hot pot episode? They said, is James going to get lit like the hot pot episode? I got hot, I got lit in a hot pot episode? Any tequila episode I get lit in. Last week, we were very lit. Even afterwards. I don't know if we said it, but we ended up finishing up the whole bottle of Patron after the live. Hmm. So the games that we're playing tonight, we're going to, Marianne, we're going to be playing a game called Truth or Drink. So you're going to either find out a lot about us or we're going to get drunk and you're going to find out a lot about us. Either way. Either way, it's a lose, it's a lose, lose game. Either way, it's a lose, lose, yeah. So can we wave really quick, Mark? Yeah. And say hi to Mary. Hi, Mary. Hi, Mary. We see you. <laughs> Eight pieces. That looks so good. Enjoy. Thank you. I hope you got. What are you guys having for dinner today? I don't think we asked you guys that yet. Oh, all the clams are really good. Yeah. Mm. Laura says, "Don't start yet." Jeff and I are going to do a bonds run. Text me if y'all need anything. Are you going to pick up some vodka? I didn't know we were working on her timetable. I didn't know. Raise my eyebrow. That's not my middle finger, like flipping. I was just raising my eyebrow. So if you guys want to stick around and, hear, and hear some juicy gossip, well, it's not gossip, juicy facts, stick around. What are you guys doing for like uh, holiday dinners this year? And this whole time, I thought we were going to do truth or dare. It was not until like yesterday I realized it was truth or drink. Which I think works out better for you because you'd probably rather drink than do a dare anyway. Yeah, I do like to drink. I love when Mark whips out the chopsticks, right? Ooh. Remember, if you guys share this video and somehow we get to 200 viewers on the stream, that's automatic shot for us, okay? And we are, oh, my phone's off. I don't know how far we are from our 150 goal, but last I checked, we were a little while away, so. Oh, this one has a clam meat in it. Mmm. Misa is having homemade Moroccan dish. Oh, we need to make our own Moroccan dish. Yeah. Island Candy is having Kahlua pork mac salad. Mm. Mm. Paul's having homemade mac and cheese with lobster and Grey Goose vodka. For Wait, so you're asking for Mark to cook for uh, for you, but why can't we come to your place for dinner? Yeah. Sonia Shide is here. Get some of the meat out, clam meat. And eat with it the with, pasta. Eat okay. it with the pasta. I haven't done that yet. I've been doing it like in silos. I've been finding some meat. Um, that already came out of the shell. Yeah. I'll be eating it with the pasta. Code Sonia Shide, we actually don't have any traditions for Christmas, do we? I don't think so. Uh, not traditions. We yeah. do traditional elements like have a tree up, but not, we don't, I don't think we have our own tradition, mm -hmm. right? Mark is my spirit animal. Guess who said that? She's from Louisiana. Oh, T Beavers. <laughs> um, Nicole says, I'm super late, but I've had the worst luck. My BF is in jail and I got detained and just uh, bled life, but love getting a little break to enjoy the video. We're so sorry that that sounds like a tough day to deal with. We're sending you positive vibes right now. And the world's going to turn around in your favor, really. Yes. Drinks and spice equals Angelina and Mark. Wait, but then, so here's the here's the improv part. Drinks and spice and blank equals Angelina and Mark and James. Sass. Oh, 
You know what, Angelina? She looked. She's sassy too. Oh. But out of the three of us, I don't know if I outsass her or not. No, Angelina is sassy, but she knows how to control. No, no, no. You know what? Angelina is sassy, but you don't realize it until later. Yeah. It's she like knows a, how to, she she is a very creative way where you don't even know she's being sassy until like, oh wait, that was sassy. She's an assassin. <gasps> you don't even know when Angelina I Assassin, her new channel coming okay. in 2021. You need to change your YouTube name to Angelina Assassin. I think so. She 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 will diss you and you won't realize it until later. Got you. <laughs> Aura, good luck on your exam. Mary's having oranges and chicken tenders. Mm. Okay. But it's not orange chicken, right? <laughs> Wait, what? Sometimes I read things and I'm like, I'm I'm buzzed. But I read that the verbatim. First, the first thing that I thought of was orange chicken. But yes. Orange what, thighs? What you say? Orange and chicken tenders. That's all it said. Mm. Brenda, you're late, but not like so late where we're gonna spill some tea tonight. Are you ready to spill some tea oh my about you and Gertrude? Are you ready? We're playing truth or drink later. You don't wanna miss it. I keep hyping it. I don't even know it's gonna be fun. We'll see. Oh, Joy B says, thank you for Swerve TTV for the Twitch subscription. So that's how the gifted subscription oh. works. It just chooses like 20 people that already subscribe to you. And they get joined into the. Oh, really? So then they That's don't get ads. Works. They get all of the um, emoticons, you know. Mm. Chastity says, hi, from New Mexico. Big fan. Hi, Chastity. We've seen you here. It's not your first rodeo. Chastity Rippingale is the one that wants us to. Um, we've done it. Uh, grits. Cheesy grits. And Mark bought me a whole thing of grits. We are definitely eating grits during winter break. Sorry about it. It's not open yet. It's not open yet. Family is life. Welcome. Hi. Why is it easier for me to use chopsticks than a fork? No? Yeah, I think you're just so used to how to use a chopstick, like how to use a chopstick that you just are, it's just natural. How to train a dragon. That's from the... That's oh. a joke from the same thing we've been watching. Yeah. Have you got is anyone in here? Don't no spoilers though. Have any of you watched um Grace and Frankie on Netflix? That's like so like Mark talked about it recently. I'm like on the bandwagon right now. I'm on season two. Love it. They're so cute. It kind of goes back to your whole inanimate object thing. What? What is dragon? No, no, no. Like how you appreciate that the show revitalizes people that might not traditionally get to have a career later in life. Okay. First of all, Jane Fonda and Lily Thomas, whatever, they're still animate, okay? They're not inanimate. I'm making a connection and you're just not getting it. They're That's not, not my they're fault. not a petrified piece of wood. They're actually living still. But I know what you mean. You sound like because of their age, they might not get a lot of opportunity. Acting, yeah, opportunities gigs. to yeah. or gigs, and this show was meant for them. Yes, and not just them too, but Martin Sheen and the other guy. Yeah, I don't know yeah. Saul, but I don't know his yeah. real name. Wait, Joy B, I thought that was you. <laughs> We've had instances of um, stolen identities on our channel. I don't know why that Ooh. happens. Ooh, yeah. That happened to Dan. Oh, yeah. So, Joy B, is that not you on Twitch? Sorry, I don't know who that is then. So, Zang loves Jane Fonda. She's the one who was the very first um, aerobic video instructor mm. right yeah i think that was her and it was so controversial because like they're wearing like those aerobic clothes and it was kind of like you know scandalous back in the day and maybe in the 80s brenda says i think i have the same utensil set this is new brenda is attention to detail i can tell 
Gosh, wasn't rose gold something that we were striving for for our wedding? But it was like such a biatch to like find things that were rose gold for whatever reason that year. More copper, which is this is the type of copper I like. Yeah. Rose gold, which is also called rose gold, but there's so many different shades of copper. It and is. Gold, like you need to find the right. Mark one. freaking, um, did we end up using all your hard work? Didn't you spray paint a bunch of chargers? Yeah, those are some of our de decorations on the. Um, I want to get married again. I want table. a big ass party again. Is that weird? I want a big party. I want to make people cry when I say my vows. I want to do a dance routine with some current like jams. And I want to eat good food. Like, is that weird? Yeah. And I think I know why James wants to have another wedding. He's upset that BTS was not around when we got married. Fudge. Because now he wants to dance. To no, BTS. because this. This fool, there's this fool in Korea that does some like dynamite dance and he got 330K views off doing it. And I'm like, well, well we would have gotten 330K views if we did it for our wedding, but no, we had to do it in the common area where we live and it barely hit a thousand views. So sue me, sue me. The girl and the bride, I told Mark, the bride didn't even look that impressed. So I'm a little worried about their future. She should have been a little bit more into it, the guy. But it, it was a little bit of a me, 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 me show. And I know Mark is very off-putting when it's a me, That's me why show. I felt sorry for the for the she bride. A, yeah. Because she's like, this is my wedding too. It's, but you're trying to steal the spotlight, thunder, yeah. thunder. And then now after the wedding, people are only going to talk about that dance. Well, it wasn't that great. It was, I mean, and technically it could have, they could have shaved off two minutes. We watched it together and Mark was like, it's still going. It's like, you only need to do the chorus once. You don't need to do the chorus twice or and, three times. And then plus more. Yeah. You know? It's like, hello. Uh, we have a lot of Jane Fonda fans in the chat. Okay. We're going to change our stream to like Jane Fonda. We love her. And maybe we'll get to 20K by the end of the year. Maybe. <laughs> right. Uh, Unicorns says, hi, welcome. If you guys are new to our stream, hit that subscribe button. We are 17 people away from 200 viewers on our stream. And what happens when we hit 200 viewers? Let's see who's been paying attention. What happens? James, why aren't you eating? I'm trying, I'm, I'm getting ready for our second wedding, Hannah. We might have it tomorrow. You don't know. Shaquavia says, hey, y'all. Sorry, I'm late. No worries. We're, we're, the party is just getting started. I feel like the soju and the and the, the dark horse and wine, they decided we're going to make James a mess tonight. Oh, we finished our first bottle. And we finished our first bottle. Oh, my God. Yeah. Do we only, we don't own any shots or anything, right? We did, did we do the 100 one already? We did, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And I don't know where we're at with the 150, but can someone let us know? Angelina says, how many years have you been married? You should renew so I can come and we can party amazingly. You know what? We should just renew at three years. Like, why do we have to wait till 10? Why does 10 get all the limelight? Just do three. But we can't do it in February. So we, <laughs> maybe, maybe four? After, maybe four. Year. We've been married for two, almost three years, because it's almost February. <laughs> we can't say two and a half. We've been saying two and a half for, for the like the longest time. Yeah. It's almost three guys. Yeah. And I would, re I would relive that day all over again. Mm. All over again. Just so I can dance to BTS again. Mary wants to see Hedu. You know what? Mary, this is how Hedu works. You can't ask Hedu to do anything. He will just do it if he feels like it. Don't take it personal, though. That's just the Sheba state of mind. Shebas don't listen to you when you want him to do something. He or she will decide on their terms. That's their personality trait. So the other day, I was like, I was supposed to take out trash. I was supposed to serve dinner. I was supposed to do A, B, and C. He decides to lay on my foot, and I'm like, I'm not moving. Because Hedu, he, you can't make him do that. He will decide to do that. And once he does that, you decide, okay, how long am I going to, like, negotiate with this? And it, the way he lays on it, it's the best feeling in the world. I don't know if he ever touched a Shiba Inu before, but out of all the dogs, <laughs> they're the best to, like, pet or to cuddle oh yeah but because is they're the best that's why their personality is on my terms i cuddle with you but i don't want you to cuddle with me yeah no i'll but lay there and i'm like it's like you can't have too much of a good thing you know yeah yeah it's like the sure. all the universe all like maps out the 
equilibrium of like good and like wants and like you can't get like formula, no? Yeah. Oh, look who decided to show up to our stream tonight. Hi, everyone. Say hello to Sean IRL. I'm a Sheba state of mind too. Love you, Hedu. Sean does really love Hedu. Yeah. And Hedu actually likes Sean. Yeah. Which is, I hope you know, that's a big deal. I think it's because the first two letters of Sean's name is the same as Sheba in <laughs> I was like, I was like, his name is not Shadu. <laughs> hey, Shadu. Shadu, I'm gonna start Shadu. calling him Shadu. Swing my way. What is a shoddy, anyways? I don't even know. But that means we have to play a drinking game. And you know what? Sean showed up right before all of the tea is gonna be spilled tonight. Is Laura back? Is she back from her Vons? I know. I, I think we're, we're ready, ready for her. I'm about to, to call I think her. We're ready to play a game. I'm gonna call her, put her on speaker, and say, "Where you at?" Because I need to play this game before I lose control. I'm slowly slipping and sliding. Okay. Okay. So I have a confession. Is am I allowed to talk about it here or no? What? Someone called me an ass last week for the way I was behaving on our live stream, and I'm like. But that's why I drink tequila, is to act like that. So what do I do? Be myself still? Yeah, because that person's probably going to think you're <laughs> that today, too. So that's okay. <gasps> I'm, I, I'm not no, as bad as last I'm week. I'm not saying that you are, but that person, for some I, I thought you weren't. Me knowing who you are, that was, a very, that was just a tip of an iceberg. And for her to think that you are a total like, ASS, I'm like, okay, girl. Well, here's the thing, and it's fine, I, because clearly she's someone that's watched this before, and which is great, and I, I appreciate I that, that, and I acknowledge that, because, yeah, because you just want to out of the blue say that, so, but I just wonder what compels anybody who watches someone to say something that would be very disheartening. Like, I, I personally cannot understand that, but other people might feel like it's their place to be able to share that, so I'm trying to... This whole week, I was trying to figure out, like, well, maybe I need to, like, take a step back and be like, okay, I offended you. I don't understand. I don't know. I don't know. We can't. We can't please everybody. And I know that. We, can't build we need to go back to our 2017 saying, you do you, boo. And, and we, that's what we will do. And we do we pee. Rachel, Rachel just said that, too. James, you just do you. I have to remind myself that. Because guess what? I'm getting real right now. I did not do me for 25, 26 years of my life. I'm not about to start another chapter of my life where I am not me. I am tired of it. I am tired of it. I'm going to break down. So you take over. <laughs> so um, if, you're just, if you're just joining us, let me give you some context. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh wow! Okay, so you know what? It that's that's what I appreciate about you. We we know how to just bring it back together. It's about to get really like 20, 20, 60 minutes. But you took us back to like Jerry Springer, Maury Povich, where it's like we don't need to be that serious. It's okay. Oh, you know what I mean? It's fine. Oh. Big knock. Welcome. Exo says, if you know you're a good person, then that's all that matters. But Exo, what if you don't know if you're a good person? <laughs> what if you don't know? Oh, that, that's that's the name of my book. What if you don't know? <laughs> <laughs> I, need a, I need a paper towel. Miguel Garcia says, hi, welcome. If you guys are new to our stream, hit that like button. Answer these two questions in the chat. Where are you from? What's your favorite food? And how did you find us? It's about to get juicy. We're going to. We're, I'm going to call Laura because Laura did not answer my call. She's still at. Bon There's probably not enough cashiers there. That always happens at that bonds. Ugh. You go in the express lane. We're and ready then, to play the game. You know, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna call her on the side and just see what, where she at. Because like, fine. It's like we should honor her because she did write the questions. But it's like, hello. Oh, by the way, uh, Lady Da. Um, we posted a picture of the two pandinis that we had for lunch the other day on, on our Discord channel, server, channel. Yeah. So if you want to, so everyone, if you want to see like what we usually do throughout the week, but not just us, like Eddie, Kim Leung, Julie uh, Smith, um, 
Desiree, and the Teresa, barrier, Teresa, Teresa, the barrier. Yeah. They all kind of update us on what they're eating, what they're doing, and we post what we're doing too on our Discord channel. This is a good time to sign up to Discord, but don't leave the stream. Yeah, because we actually posted a picture of uh, Gina's family's uh, restaurant, and we had lunch there, and it was so good. The ginger Hello? 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 Oh, you know. Speaker. Wait, I have to ask her if she's okay to be on speaker. Are you okay to be on speaker right now? She paused, so she's not ready. Are you okay? Are you sure? Okay, hold on one second. Okay, we're waiting for you to come back before we start the game. So what's the ETA, girl? Girl, I'm turning right now. I'll be home. I'm a hawk when I get to the garage. <laughs> Our window's closed, so we won't hear you. Why, why don't you why don't you do this? You write in the chat when you back and we're gonna play the game because we get messy already. So we need to start this soon or it's gonna get messier. Girl, you were born a mess, girl. Don't you were born a mess. Hey, you're on speakerphone, by the way. Everyone can hear you, Laura B. Well, you're calling me out for being late, but you can do your thing on my stream while I am done. Okay, love you. Okay, we'll see you in the chat then. <laughs> Bye. So I'm gonna be honest, I have a confession. If I close my eyes, yeah, I don't know who's who. Yeah. <laughs> we do have that same we do have that same inflection and sass in our voice. I can I can see that. So we I will eat a, who. we'll eat a couple more because they're turning in and they're they're almost want, here. <gasps> Wait, you guys, let's play this game before they come on stream. What do you guys think they bought at Vons? And then it we'll better we're, be alcohol. We're gonna add, yeah, we're gonna because we're last, gonna cross reference. Because last week we had we gave them our Grey Goose and vodka or Grey Goose and tequila. J Dream says Linguini and clams have such a potent garlic that hangs out in your breath, but so worth it. Oh, Is it gonna be added, worth it? We added so much garlic. Yeah. But here's the thing: cooked garlic is not as bad to kiss someone than someone who eats eats raw garlic. Right. What do you think? But it's still bad because come to think of it, when we went to San Francisco and had the garlic noodles and we went Ooh, clubbing that afterwards, bad. that was bad. That was bad. Is our soju in the freezer? Or are we okay? Oh, good point. Let's get that in the freezer. I might need a Coke. Sean, um, we're waiting for our our neighbor Laura to go home. She wrote the questions for our truth or drink game, and she said not to start until she gets back. So we're honoring that. John decided to show. He says, "Wait, is Jeff going to be on the stream? I don't think he's going to be on the stream. But you know what? We can drop the link after we play the game. And if anyone wants to share answers to their questions, I'd love that. Especially you, John. John's been on our channel a few times, right? Yeah." He actually was here. He was here at our here. home. Yeah. That's commitment. On a live stream. Yeah. Remember that, John? That was what did we even eat? eat? Pizza or mm. Pizza Hut? It was pizza. I, I think it was Pizza Hut. Let's ask him. He's the most sober out of the three of us, probably. I know, John. You're not drinking with us. <laughs> Uh, Miriam says, enjoying a margarita while watching you guys. Also, you should list your ingredients so that we can remake your recipes. You know what? We we realize that that we cook, but we don't really like do enough to like. But I think I remember what I did, so we'll be sure to post it on our Discord channel. But but I think a couple of you have suggested this that we actually think we actually should plan ahead of time. Post the recipe so that you could cook as we cook. But if you were here earlier on the stream, we decided everything at 11 today. We didn't know we were going to do this. Laura says, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, okay. Are let's, we ready for the play. game? We have our we have our soju, soju ready? Yeah. Okay, so this is how it works. This is how I think it works, okay? Laura has compiled 10 questions. We have to answer them. Okay. Or if you don't want to answer it, you just take a shot. And that's it. Very simple. How many questions? There's 10 questions that so she's compiled. So potentially I could be drinking 10 shots. And I'm not going to allow myself to drink 10 shots because I will die. I will die. Well, I'm. it depends on the question. Yeah, I don't know. And if you guys are like open enough, let us know in the chat too if you want to answer the question. Because I don't know. I, I We don't know what the, what the questions are at all. No, I don't so, know. Are you right? I'm nervous. 
I feel like we need to take a shot before we play the game. Oh, but before we start, though, Laura, what did you buy at Vons? Because people have, for the last five minutes, been guessing what you guys picked up there. If if you said alcohol, what kind though? Tito's. You think they pick up? I think Laura picks up Tito's. I feel like every time I see her, like impromptu, she has a handle of Tito's in her hand. Oh my gosh, I we need to buy blue label Johnny Walker now. Where? Um, Jungwon didn't add. They they selected her as her. <gasps> Did she have her promo model. of it yet? Yeah. What is she wearing in it? They have set up a home bar in her own backyard at her home. Oh. And she's just going out to her own home bar and then she's drinking a blue That's label drink. And I love. I, I mean, I'm Johnny yeah. Walker, whatever. But the only Johnny Walker I would drink is the blue label. Yeah. And she did a commercial for them. Um, so like Laura's ghosting us now. I asked her a question, she didn't say anything. And some of the questions may be sexual. And um, New York City Maxine says Mary says that she likes your apron and vodka, but not Tito's today. What other vodka is there? Goose. Oh, Effin? I don't think she likes Effin. Effin goose. Okay, Laura, just be ready because we might drop the link later in the in the chat, and we might want you to come on and make a cameo so we can thank you publicly. Okay, you ready? For should she be asking? No, we should be asking. We should, we'll just do it. You know, that's a lot of pride. We didn't court. Should I take that. the chummy out? Yeah, because I think we're gonna drink right away. I don't even know what questions she chose. Are you guys ready for this? If you guys are here, 177 of you, just know so this might not get reposted. Okay. And Bubba, we drive a Hyundai Azera and a BMW X3. Those are the cars we drive, right? Yes. Okay. All right. I'm nervous. I have to find her text. Again, we have not watched this, period. No, seen. Or seen this. <laughs> the question. Oh. oh, okay. Number one, what's the dirtiest text you've ever received? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? Oh, I feel... Oh, I am I not allowed to speak out of turn. I feel I'm gonna say this. Oh no, I'm not allowed to say anything. What? I feel I like the dirtiest text you received is probably not from me, and that's all I'm gonna say. But do you want to drink or not? Because I can say the dirtiest text I received is probably just like a very like cutesy, cutesy one from you, and it wasn't even dirty. Because Mark is not uh, into like into that with me, at least. Should should we answer like before like not with each other? No conversation then. So we no, look no, at no, oh no. like um let's get the ground rules set up. Because we're married and stuff, yeah, yeah, right? yeah. So like I don't know what I'm saying. So do you want to answer this or not? Because if you don't want to answer, you just take a shot. Like honestly, I'm trying to think. <laughs> okay. I, I don't I don't think I've gotten like I'll, a, I'll say this. I oh. I it's okay. I, I got some noodles. Yeah, I don't get noodles. I, I've got some noodles. What do you do with said noodles? Say, like, I don't want to stir fry with that. That's not the question. Okay, that's good enough. So Mark answered the question. He got noodles. And then for me... Wait. What? Oh, yeah. We don't have to repose. It's no. fine. For me, I... I'm trying... I'm, re I'm going through the archives right now. I honestly, it's it's been you know, if anyone wants to, I'll give you my number. But it's it's been pretty <laughs> PG. It's been pretty PG. I've Oops. not gotten anything like Oops. in that realm. That's all I'm gonna say. So it sounds like you're gonna drink, right? I answer. Oh, you answered. Oh, you got noodles. Okay, there we go. We got through the first. That was really tough, though. Where's my nest? Can you tell on the air? I'm getting warm. Are you thinking about the noodles? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, wait, let me Take go. this apron off. Keep it on. Oh my God. Why is the thermostat like it's below 71 right now? It's really? not turning on though. Okay. Moving on to question number two. Is that good enough? Give me some juicy words. Juicy words. Juicy words in said text. I, well, if I feel like if you got noodles, it's probably just the noodles. There you go. That's why I'm so good with chopsticks. Here. Italian <laughs> noodle. Oh, Italian noodles? Yeah. Okay. I don't know, Tony. I feel like I give this impression off that if you sent me noodles, like I would report it or something. But I never said no to it. I just never got noodles. 
I love how you called it noodles. It turned something very like raunchy into like an innocent thing. Okay. So we're, we're clear on that first one. We both answered it. Yeah, good job. Here. I love you. I'm being so truthful. What's the worst thing you've told your friends about each other? Oh, gosh. I got into almost, I, I think of this fight. Okay, you're not thinking about the question correctly. Will you say that again? What's the worst thing you've told your friends about each other? What's not other mean? people. What I know exactly what example you're thinking of. You, what's the worst thing you've said about me to your friends? And vice versa. Oh, yeah. I, I could be. Um, the thing is, I don't really talk to other people about James. Give me a shot. <laughs> Oh, James, he spills the beans with like his close friends. Oh my gosh. And you know, they're mutual me, close friends. And you know, they're more your close friends. But you expect me to like hang out with them afterwards? Well, but like I feel my truth. And what I said was facts. Okay. Facts but I, but no I love you enough around. right now to just take this dang drink versus like expose. That's, that's what a marriage no is about. longer around, girl. What machine? What fax machines? Did I say fax machine? You say fax. <laughs> That's not the same thing as a fax machine. Okay. What is fax anyways? Your perspective is your perspective and my perspective is my perspective, but you can't just claim them to be fax. Okay, wait, Laura, if you're going to spill the beans, then you need to just drink. She says at Jeff's house for Mark. Ah, I was there, wasn't I? <laughs> okay, I'm shook right now. What are you drinking? What was the worst thing you said? Oh, because you didn't want. Because I'm not answering it about you. Know. Because I love you. And my and and my reasoning for having to spill the tea or the beans to someone else is that was just my coping thing. And then we figured out how to resolve the issue after. That's normal. But I don't believe that you never say anything bad about me to other people. That's I, it. I, 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 you I'm, probably don't, though, actually. I'm very private with that. You are very private. I internalize like, everything. I internalize everything. Oh, my gosh. I internalize everything. And I tell everybody. Like, I'm, I'll tell my mom. I'll tell my friend. I'll tell the mailman. I will tell the cashier at Vons. And that's the that, that's that's the diff one key difference. Y'all like, need I to know. <laughs> but we love each other for it still, right? Okay. The the most I would actually externalize is like I do like a very cryptic Facebook. Oh, status message. girl, you wait. Can I just tell this part of the truth? Okay, can I say this? There's been instances. Okay, this is there's been instances when this was when Facebook was like really popular. Okay, so don't don't think no, this was like happening years, 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 years ago. Years ago, but like every time we would get into a heated argument, maybe like an hour later, I go on Facebook and I see text in Korean, and I'm like. Homeboy is writing about me, but not letting people know about me. <laughs> then I will have to Google translate said status message in Korean. And even after that, it's like I still have to decipher what the English version means. And I'm like, he mad at me. He mad. No, it's always poetic. It, there is, it doesn't say I'm mad at you. Like it's no, it's, it, it's, it's always like. Um, the truth shall set you free. And since you set the truth, <laughs> the truth has been freed. And now you will just you will suffer the truth of no, the truth it, of the situation. No, it, no hashtag okay. truth. No, okay, it's, not it's not that lame. It's not that lame. Like I feel like I could look relook at all those status messages and and I could be I could win a Nobel. Um, what's the uh, the Nobel one? laureate? You're like laureate, the poet laureate. Yeah, I don't know. I could be a poet laureate. Girl, I don't know. I get I get into my head and then I write beautiful things in Korean. Okay. Well, see, I like I see this is so much this is like therapeutic because I don't think anyone has ever even heard that story about your uh, Korean <laughs> status messages before. You guys heard it here first. The 168 of you who are here, this video might get taken down by tomorrow. Okay. Let's be real. All right. Are we on a question? We're on question three. Do we got seven to go? Okay. Or eight. Okay. Oh my god. What's the weirdest thing that's ever turned you on? The weirdest thing that's turned me on. Can I say it? Well, then, yeah, or you drink. Mm, um, anime? 
Oh, anime. Anime? Oh, okay. I, I'm not I'm, I'm not saying I'm into it. I'm just saying that has one time in my life turned me on and I thought that was weird. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's like, essentially, I don't want to offend any of the anime people, but it's like cartoon, right? Yeah. So, ooh, that's an honest and raw answer. <laughs> Weirdest thing. It's not weird, but like sometimes, like Mark will wear like uniforms, and I like get a kick out of that. But that's not weird, you know. Like sometimes I'll be like, just keep the like. If you wear something and I like feel like it looks good on you, I will ask you to keep it on. But you never do that for me. You just like take it off. I'm like, oh, that apron looks good on you. Keep just the apron on, but then you'll like take the apron off. And I like, thought you were just joking, girl. I like the apron, you. Girl, if you look in certain places, I ain't joking. Is this a lot? Is this a lot of information? Wait, I, okay, well, <laughs> I guess that's your truth. No, but sometimes, but that's not weird. So I don't, but I don't want to just make up an answer because, oh my God, $50 super sticker. John, you know, because you gave us that $50 super sticker, I will allow you to ask a question for later on in the stream. Because I think that's only fair. John, that's so, that's so, so generous. Nice. But why we are hitting up on our one year anniversary of hanging out with each other. Wait, he's enjoying this conversation. Is this big ass pair that's like jumping around all these buildings? Wait, so, that's kind of turning on. <laughs> so is that is that is that your answer then? No, because like, it just he, he's just so excited, and then I'm just like, you know, that is I don't know. Oh my god. Well, thank you, John. You I feel like I need to do to, more for you. You get to should we take off our clothes? I don't know. Like, you, you know what? You call us after and then we'll just Instagram okay. me chat and then we'll do whatever you want. Okay, okay. Is that weird? That's kind of turned me on too. Everything's turning me on right now. When I drink enough, everything turned me on. Are you like okay down there? Yeah, look. Everything's fine. Okay. Because I drink a lot too. You know, drinking a lot, it's like it could go either way. Okay, wait, are we on question four? So we, you haven't had to drink anything yet, huh? From playing this game? You've been so truthful. We oh. got six dislikes. Six people do not like the truth. Okay, uh, let me, Laura, good questions so far. Okay, name something illegal that you've done and regret. Mm. Okay, this, I've done illegal things that I don't regret. Okay. So I so that is not my answer, right? Okay. But the answer that I done something illegal and I do regret is not juicy though. Okay. Okay. So, oh, so you don't regret it? So it's just names of me you've done illegal? No, 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 no. Oh, there are things that I've done uh -huh. illegal that is juicier, but I don't regret doing it. Oh, dang! That's a lot to process. So, so, you tell me later. Don't say it right now. Okay. Because you might run for office in like twenty forty eight. We don't but, want to ruin our chances. But the thing that I did do something illegal and I actually do regret is not that juicy. So are you going to answer the question or are you going to try to make me figure out what you're going to say? No. So there's a time when you I should. think I was in high school, middle school. High, I don't remember. Middle, I was yeah. a kid. Middle school, high school. That me and my friends, we jaywalked hmm. on Brookhurst, which is a busy street. Mm -hmm. But it looked empty. But there was a, there was a pickup truck that was like kind of slow but he was walking a view of a normal big commuter bus mm. so as soon as i passed the pickup truck and i went to the middle island that bus almost hit me because i didn't see it oh. so i did not like jaywalking after that and i regret doing it because i could have died but you know what since i've known you you've never said no to jaywalking i mean Oh, hold on. Like small streets don't count, but I'm talking about like those big streets. Well, I can surprise Brookhurst is like you would never jaywalk Brookhurst. No, but it looked like it was okay. There's no more like we're waiting for all the cars to pass, and I just need to have this big pickup truck pass, and then I, as soon as I crossed that lane, a big old commuter bus almost hit me mm. and my, me and my friends. Yeah, so I regret doing that, and that was illegal. So mine is illegal, but I don't. Read it as much but it was still legal 
So one time, this is so this is so lame compared. Well, I don't know. Yours is just like jaywalking. Like, oh my god. No, that's what I'm saying. It's not. It's not juicy. It's not. But it's I not juicy. Regret it. Other like, things I've done illegal is juicy, but I don't regret it. So one time, I think I told the story on this channel before. One time, I was remodeling my room at home. This is before we lived together, and I bought an ottoman. I went home uh, with the ottoman, and then I opened the ottoman, and somebody put a bunch of merchandise from Target in the ottoman. And I was like looking at it, and I was just like, "Oh my god!" And it was around Christmas time, actually. It was like the holidays, mm -hmm. and it was like a bunch of like random crap in there. And I thought to myself, like, "This is stealing." But then they also didn't look for it, so then I just kept everything. But I could have easily drove back and say, "Hey, all of this stuff was in my ottoman." Yeah. Can you take it back? But I was like, I'm not going to do that. I don't even like returning things too when bad. I legally buy but it. So why am I going to do it if it's illegal? Too bad it wasn't like valuable. They weren't even good stuff. Like it was like, keys. it was literally that thing in that dollar section up front where it's, it's like, like, like random, avid, like yeah. really random items. Oh, like that. Them. I think one of them was that the M&M &M candy cane thing. I was yeah. like, girl, like if you're going to put something in the ottoman, like put a PS2 in there or PS3 yeah. in there. Yeah. But all this stuff is like, eh. yeah. so yeah. So, moral of the story: Maybe we need to do more illegal things and regret it. And no, that's the that's the tricky part: is what did you do illegally and regret? And I mean, I've done, we've done like we've done illegal things, and I don't. I once lied about my age at the buffet to get those like, um, like less price. Is that illegal? <laughs> like I was twelve. Like, was that from your own doing or because your parents asked you? To I mean, I may have been coaxed and convinced into it, but I was okay with like going along with it, you know? John is on um, Twitch with us now. Okay, are we? Okay, so, okay. Oh my God, I see the word sex. <laughs> Ooh, I'm not ready. Okay, question five. What is something sexually you have done but will never do again? Read Joy's comment. Okay, let's read her comment. I was on a bike, Angelina broke my ankle. Brookhurst is no joke. Girl, see? Don't jaywalk Brookhurst. The B in Joy's name is Joy Brookhurst. <laughs> no, Joy, Joy broke her ankle. That's what the on, B stands for. Do not. Do not. For jaywalking on Brookhurst? Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay, wait. Tom is sharing. This is good. You guys can share with us. I have called in a prescription for an antibiotic pretending to be my doctor just to see if a pharmacist will fill it or not. And did they fill it? And was it, and was it antibiotic or was it something else that starts with the letter B? <laughs> Wait, Angela says up more. I can't. I can't get in scroll. I got hit by a car off Brookhurst and Slater by the free road. So she got hit by a car and she broke something. Okay, do not mess stay with Brookhurst. away from Brookhurst. You know what? Brookhurst should be called Brookhurst. <laughs> I'm so clever. I don't get enough credit for being as clever as I am. Wait, did you hear the question I said? What is something sexually you have done but will never do again? Are you gonna answer? No, I don't wanna answer. Can you whisper to me? Huh? I, uh, I do not wanna do that ever again in my life. I, would, I mean, I can't talk about it because He's not allowed to. He is already. I would do that again. No, that was, I got my that was bad. Was that on Brookers? No, that was close. It was close. Bouchard. <laughs> <It was> cl <laughs> <Bouchard. laughs> it was like one intersection away. You all, y'all gonna just need to. You just gonna you need to use your imaginations, okay? I never oh again. I never again. That was embarrassing. I for never get one. Me. Why? Because it is in my face. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. No, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah we're, we're drinking. We're drinking. We're drinking. It. We gotta give them a little bit. So they're like, what are they talking about? What are they talking about? You know? A little bit. I need a chaser at this rate. Okay. How many questions left? Is this game over? And Sean says, car play, oh, car. Girl, you don't know the truth. You don't know. I wonder why Sean and Tom got a new car. More, it is a more spacious one, too, right? Oh, Forrester, my ass. I know what Forrester's Tom up in there. The pharmacy is like, yeah. Help me <laughs> give me the, yeah, give me the medicines. Car. And then, yeah. 
Candace says, I'm late. Just tune in, y'all gorgeous. But how gorgeous are we when we answer these raunchy questions, Candace? Oh, okay. Number six is what was your first impression on your families? Oh, I need a drink. I can't. You need a drink? Need okay. A drink. Um, for me, I was intimidated because your family was very like, they came from like a very prestigious upbringing, like they're doctors. Like I was just like, oh, how am I going to like work into this? Like, I'm just like this. Interesting. We never talked about this. No, we didn't. Oh, but like, I, I honestly, honestly, I, they, they probably don't watch us so I can yeah. say this, right? Honestly, the first party Mark took me to with his brother and sister-in-law, it felt like an episode oh. of Grey's Anatomy. And I was an extra in the background who was not in the medical profession. And I didn't understand anything. I barely understood the watermelon rectangles with the feta she i didn't know you could eat watermelon with feta i didn't know balsamic with balsamic vinegar. vinegar it was too much for me and i was like i don't feel like no I but that, at that vibe. at that same said party and really one of the first parties we went to and maybe this is the reason why we stopped hanging out with yeah my brother <laughs> it was a month. It was an it's because like they're like oh so like um like oh so like what department are you we're like oh sorry we're, we're i'm actually james's brother like we're the oh, visit no we're and, the visitor and room. then they're, they're like oh you're james's brother oh my gosh so what do you do oh i'm a nonprofit. oh that's nice and they have nothing to ask after yeah, that yeah and then they're like uh and they find someone else and they're like oh this patient x did yeah, this, no, 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 this no, no, patient no. y did this so it's yeah. like oh my god I, I i vividly remember i don't know if i'm making this up they said what's your like like how do you, what do you do for like work and i was like well i played operation four and i'm really good at getting the wishbone out and they weren't about they, they didn't, they didn't laugh they walked away <laughs> and the episode was over and i was done i was done gray's anatomy no gay's anatomy yes so okay if you're i was doctors, like mm. we love you because you're watching yeah, us thank, but no and because they are doing all the yeah, hard work and they're doing all the hard work right, right now in the healthcare profession but there's something also about a, a common stereotype characteristic of doctors is like they could only talk to each other too yeah, yeah. They, they have that common language the shared language shared experience so yeah. it's like you know but we do need to acknowledge candace g says just love to uh, you. thank you so much we will play the card game at the very end. Please remind us, anybody, once we're done with the questions, because we these questions are getting like we owe Candace a card game. But you got drink because you didn't answer the oh, question, yeah. girl. You smart. You smart. You're so smart. You're smart. Because what I said wasn't even that bad. Like I could, if they came over right now, I'd be like, I tell them the same story. So that's okay. Be like, why is there watermelon with cheese here? I don't get it. But maybe this is a doctor thing. No, if if my mom was still around, I think maybe would she like, like me. I think she would eventually really eventually love you. Love you but, Even, but not right I, away. I think, I think no, I, no, and this is not a read on my mom, but yeah. she was very like um what's the word like critical? Critical about physicalness because even Ooh, with me no. she's like she's like I've mark done she's like mark no one's gonna marry you because your thighs are big i was like that's um, why did you send me to taekwondo where i had to do a lot of like high kicks like why so like so she was very critical about that kind of stuff you know so <laughs> <I'm> saying <laughs> um new york city maxine says hbo special house of ho have you someone asked if we watch house of ho why do we need to watch it if we live in it okay this is house of ho every day monday friday 6 p.m pacific time subscribe we ready for the next question these are i love how the questions at first i'm reading them i'm like okay but it gets a little bit but deeper later Laura, you chose really good questions no but she's getting attacked in the chat too she why? says i wanted to make all the questions dirty but james made me mix it with pg questions where are the receipts laura where are the receipts okay drink your non-tito vodka right now okay. i don't even know what vodka she got papa did you get papa because, girl, we could, we could go back and get you the grape. Did you, We're going to walk did you, did you get the vodka and the grape girl, in the plastic bottle? No, she she ain't getting the Popov one. Okay. Love you guys so much. I'm being loud. I can need to tone down. No, I'm supposed to be myself. Who would be a guest star in the bedroom? Oh, I know. I have a photo of him. Ooh. It's the same one I always tell you. Huh? Okay, well, do you have a guest star or are you going to drink? Like, it could be anybody. 
Yes. Well, I know for you, I know who's going to Yeah, but don't answer for me because oh. this is supposed to be for ourselves. And then if you don't want to answer, you drink. I mean, I have an answer, I guess, but like I hate that this is that this person is becoming that one and is I don't even really think, is not no, that I don't one. even think you would I don't even think you're attracted to him, but no. he's just well then why do you keep saying him? No, because send someone keeps, else to the bedroom it, that it, wants to be there. It keeps coming up and I'm like, I don't wanna Okay, I don't know why okay, Ryan Reynolds, he's a good looking guy, but I'm not I never was obsessed with him. I never really liked him, but I keep joking like, oh, because people say Ryan Gosling. And I always say, ew, but Ryan Reynolds is better. And suddenly it became like, yeah. So, think, so that's not, you didn't answer the question, oh. you know, because you wouldn't invite him now, would you? I mean. David Hasselhoff? No. <laughs> no. Maybe like 30 years ago, David Hasselhoff would be like. Really? Even when he was on his heyday in Baywatch, I'd be like, girl, bye. Better than Ain't anything. Oh, well, I guess so. You guys answer this question in the chat. This is a harmless question, actually, I think. So you don't have anyone then. I mean, the, here's the thing. Like, I'm not obsessed with, like, celebrities or anything. Like, it doesn't I don't have know. to be – it doesn't even have to be a celebrity. It could be anybody. <gasps> you have somebody? Yeah. Are you going to drink it? The first person that super chats us right now is the third person. The third person in our bed. Girl or boy, whoever it's going to be, we're going to just play Scrabble in the bathroom, <laughs> or the bedroom. Okay. <laughs> Ain't going to get cute. I guess. I don't know. Because I don't. I can't so you don't even have one? I can't choose those. So who would yours be? Um, Pak, Pak Sojun. I know, but non celebrity. I can't say non. That's not the question. It just says who would be a guest star. You want me? You want you want to tell you want me to tell you who the non-celebrity guest star would be? Let's see. What's a what's a what's a good looking juicy? Act, what's, what's a good looking Ooh, hey, actor Bradley these Cooper. days? Um, I'm trying to, I don't really watch. Like, I've been watching Grace and Frankie, and they're like, not that I, I'm not <coughs> I'm not I'm not saying anything about their age, but it's, I'm like I don't know. I'm like where I'm watching like Star Trek, and they're all like older people. Like I don't even know who's like good looking these days anymore. I'm wondering why. Even and I like, speak? even with like K-pop stars, I really am into like solo female singers, but I'm not sexually attracted to them. So of course not. So I don't even know who I'm like. I like. I don't know why I have a screen cap of him on my phone, but I do. He's not even looking in the camera. I don't care. He's looking at me. He's not. He's not looking in the camera. Cause I feel, but the thing is, is I feel like I'm like heavier than him. And my, my thing is, is I want someone to pick me up and I don't think he can pick me up. He has some muscles and stuff. I don't think he can throw me around and I want to be like tossed around you a want little those bit. 100 K member K-pop girl, IOI, whatever. When they sing, pick me, pick me, pick yeah. me up. You want them. No, I don't. I want, I want him. He has chocolate abs. He has chocolate abs. He, so here's the thing. He would make me ramyun at night, but then also like be a freak in the sack. Like that's a good balance. Okay, you know what? <laughs> Pak Sojun is a good looking guy. I admit, and I'm not. But he's he's kind of too skinny for me. Like I would crush and, him. And he's not a bad. Like he's not the most good looking person, but he's not bad looking. I do like him because he starred <coughs> in a mini dramas with my favorite actress, Om Jung Hwa's. So that's the only reason why I would like him. If they never made that which is romance together, I wouldn't even care about him at all. But uh, I was gonna say, like, I tend to like a li little bit, a little Beefier. bit darker complexion. Oh yeah, I know. He's, I know who you follow on Instagram. I know your type. He's he's a little too like too pale. Oh okay. Yeah. You a little bit like more tan. Just shadowy. But I feel like you like a little beefier too. Oh. oh. I don't know why. Oh, maybe that's why you like me. Do you like me? Yeah, you're a little Am bit I beefier and like. But actually, you're very lightning complexion too, huh? So I need to tan a little bit more. But if I tan more, then that means A, B, and C will happen. Okay, we spent enough time on that question. I Wait, know. so did you drink yet? You need to drink because you didn't say anything. Gosh, Ronald's blech. 
Mark, pick up James. You know what, Marianne, he's offered multiple times, but his back isn't like what it used to be. Back in the day, I would actually like, like. Can I try? <clears throat> no, don't. Is you gonna hurt your back? We're we're mid thirties now, baby. This is dare. No, it's not a dare. We are at the age where it ain't cute to like do like things for theatrics. You gonna be hurting the next day, and then our whole winter break will be ruined. It's because this you is just 30. saw that episode on Grace and Frankie I did, and we are slowly Bridget crumbling. Bonda, like broke her back. <laughs> we know. are slowly crumbling, and we gotta preserve the good parts so that we can still do the good things. I need to preserve my hips, then. You think that's the best part? I love my hips. Like, I like how I move my head. We are answering way more than what the original question okay, okay, you're right. said. And I hope you guys are enjoying this, okay? All right, Jeff said he's going to go inside your house and eat your noodles. Wait, what? Oh, those noodles. We got plenty of noodles. But I, did, when I think of noodles, you, do you, you remember did, what you the- did send us Send noodles. us noodles and we'll give you noodles, okay? Ain't no free noodles up in here. Okay, uh, number eight. What is the most embarrassing moment someone has caught you in? <clears throat> Okay, I can tell it without getting into too much description. This was at your old place. I was in the bathroom. You knocked, and that was the end of the story. It was the bathroom right, right in front of the stairs, and like I may have been like longing for you, but you were not present. And so when you asked me what I was doing, then I just told you, and then you just like laughed at me. That was pretty embarrassing. Do you not remember the story? I don't. And I really don't. <laughs> okay, well, the, the, I, I said, oh, Simi Lu is pretty good. Yeah, he would lift me up. Um, do you have an embarrassing moment? Oh, the other one is related to sharding <laughs> for oh. me. That was pretty embarrassing. But you know what? I will only tell that story if someone super chats right now. So you need to an answer or you need to take another shot. I mean, okay. that was pretty embarrassing. To me. Because you're was... like, what are you doing? I was like, duh. To me, this was very embarrassing, but it's not. <clears throat> but to everyone else, it's not embarrassing. It was embarrassing for you, though. Yeah. Then what is it? Let people know your truth. When, um, in senior year of high school, if it's a AP, farting story, no, okay, in my good. AP, in my AP English class, mm -hmm. my AP English teacher, her name was Mrs. Chamberlain. So uh -huh. that or that sh that sure they paint a picture, but she made us all read out loud this old english folk story and it, it, even though it's english it's not english it's like the the type of language they used back then is like i can't even comprehend right because mm. it's like medieval time language but anyways the part that i had she's like okay mark can you read the next two paragraphs and then it was a part of this english folk story where the king and the queen and all these other like people in the court were following this long trail of walking and then so i had to so it was like the part of the paragraph i was just naming off the different type of people the king the queen the jester the blah 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 and then when it got to the word cook oh i saw cock oh but you know why you saw cock though right you're you're figuring things out still. so i said the king the queen the jester <laughs> the, the the cock the maid whatever and then it's sixth period everyone's like falling asleep because we don't even understand this language and everyone's like not even paying attention i'm just <clears> reading on like i'm not even paying attention myself and then she had the audacity to be like oh mark stop right there it's not the cock it's the cook and i'm like what did i what what and then everyone burst out laughing and it was the same time because a lot of us were in AP psych and we just learned about Freudian and slip and like, oh, what was Mark thinking? And, and did you have a lab. girlfriend at that time? I don't remember. I wish I wish she was in that class so that she can confirm. But Melissa was in the class and she yeah. was right next to me. Yeah, they should have and known. Homeboy loves cock. He loves cock. Fun of me. No, I would make fun of you too. That's fine. But this this, is, here's this... the thing: I didn't even know I made a mistake. I just said because like I didn't. It's, it's like old English, so I thought cock chicken like i don't know it's no, like cock, cock is cock. Blah, cock, blah, blah, blah. cock was the same in 1400s as it is in 2000 no it was actually a chicken no that not that kind of chicken no one wants that kind of chicken. i'll take the other cock any day over that chicken but i did not like how my teacher well she the teacher probably when she thought the word cock she probably thought it was the chicken not thinking the other thing so that so that's probably what she had to interrupt she me. probably in, in, emphasized like, okay, it okay i i because like 
I know if this was kindergarten and I have to like learn how to read and the teacher says, oh no, Mark, it's not book. It's like, you know, whatever, like if she had to correct me how to read, I get it. But senior year of high school, AP English, do you really need to stop a student from reading a That's true. paragraph? Just because I said cock instead of cock, just let me just let me go on. Well, because no one was no one, no one, no one, no one even picked up on no the fact one that picked you up said until cock. she had to stop me. Well, there you go, Mrs. Mrs. Chamberlain. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> Don't no, say really it like that. Yeah, I hope well. she's doing yeah. well. You know, yeah, cook the cock. Okay. Um, let's get a, so you didn't, we, we're getting through this game. If you guys are enjoying this content, thumbs we, up this well, video. We have extra chubby Everybody knows thinking our that we're going to drink more, but we only, we're, we didn't even get down to one bottle. Oh wait, I lost. Okay. What's, what terrible thing have you done and lied to cover it up? Oh, oh. okay. So, but this is like, okay. So one time we were supposed to go to San Diego and I clogged the toilet at home. And then my sister went in after me and used it to pee. And it like. And she flushed. And she flushed, but it like clogged it. And so then my dad and my mom tried to unclog the toilet. And then we canceled our San Diego trip because we couldn't figure out how to unclog it. And they blamed my sister for it. And I didn't say a word. <laughs> I had a healthy gut. I don't know. I don't know why they couldn't unclog it, but for whatever reason, it was so backed up. And then there was this whole hoopla about like I did. Like my sister, I felt so bad. My sister was like, "I didn't do anything. Like I just, I just went pee, and it clogged." You know what? Like, and then our trip was canceled. But you didn't say anything. No, I was scared. But how did you? How do you know that your sister only went pee? Because that's what she said, and I believe her. Oh. So you went to go poo and you clogged the toilet, but it was like not you like. It was I feel like, so bad. Why you're Mrs. Chamberlain? I don't need to tell you the details. I said what I needed to say, and that was the end of it. Okay, the toilet was clogged. The San Diego trip was canceled. In the end, it was my fault, but I didn't take the fall for it. Okay. And your sister got the blame. Yes, that's that's what's implied when I said I didn't take the fall for it. That was really bad though, because yeah, because it got to the point where she got so reprimanded, it was hard to like. But I did it because it was just like, wow, that's like a lot, you know, reprimanding. And I'm like, why? I'm not gonna, you know. So here's so like my brother Laura. No, she said someone sent this to James's sister. She doesn't even know this. I don't think. Go. So like my brother was also known to clog the toilet when we were growing up too. He doesn't want this on the internet. <laughs> but here's the thing, like, because my mom would be so mad at him, like, I at an early age learned what I need to do. So I still do this to this day. I don't even know if you know what I do. To do what? Wait, what are you doing? So when I go poo, oh yeah, I flush. Yes. And then when I wipe, uh -huh. I make sure no more than three like squares three uh wads of white oh then i flush again if i have to wipe more i don't care i flush and then i do keep doing but my maximum time before i flush is three okay and I flush three flush and then ever since i figure out my own like formula i never clocked the toilet myself i never did but I think the reason why you clog it because you might have a good load and then you don't flush it, but then you like have to wipe and you're like, you still need to wipe, wipe, wipe. So it's just, like your big load and like a lot of toilet paper and then that gets stuck. So I know- oh My God, to... my nephew is here. He said upstairs or downstairs toilet. Brandon, I don't need to answer that question. I've been exposed. Are you gonna answer the question or not for you? What's the question again? What's the most like terrible What's terrible thing that you've done and lied to cover it up? I mean, I, I think I need more time to think about it, but like I would, I'm so loyal with my friends. Like if they do something wrong, I help them cover up too. Yeah, but and this I is about it. you. So if you can't think of anything. Um, the worst thing that I did, which wasn't even that bad, but I actually got caught. Okay, well, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, that's fine.
Go ahead. Uh, this girl that I, that she, I mean, we never dated. Uh-huh. But she, in middle school, she was like obsessed with me. But in high school, she went to a different high school. But then um, she was dating this other like, like bad boys, whatever. Yes. And then, so she got, she, her parents kicked her out of their house. And she had no one to call. And she just decided to call me after years of not even talking to each other. So she's like, oh, like Mark, like I, I'm, I'm scared. I don't know where to go. Where can I go? I was like, well, where are you? And she, like, I wasn't talking to her. She moved to her. Was like, okay, then I'll go to you. So I took the taxi. And this is high school. I took the yeah. taxi, went to her, and we spent the uh, night together at the park. And then eventually, in the daytime, we went to her friend's house to take a nap on the friend's like bed because we just stayed up all night. And then that friend got caught and she's like, like, Joe, like, where were you all night? And she's like, oh, I was at my friend's house. And then that friend rebuilt her. I was like, oh, no. Like, she confessed to my friend's parents. Uh, Jenny wasn't at my house all night. She only stayed in the morning time. But at night, she was with Mark at a park. Then you were probably betrayed by that. Did that actually happen? That, we didn't do anything. Fine, but why? What? He seems like you're no, like but, no, but no, but I lied to my mom that I'm spending over at my friend's house. But I actually paid money to ride a taxi all the way to, to Irvine to spend a night at a park. I don't know why that story came up, but it's not I even know. that bad. I remember the story you told me too. But I remember so my mom evil. because her mom called my mom and said, "Oh my God, your son spent the night at yeah. the park with my daughter," which is true. Which is true, yeah. but we don't have babies. <laughs> that I know of. Stay tuned for episode two next week. Wait, I need to. I need to get to the super chats real oh. quick. Joy says, "I say call your sister and let her know." Oh my gosh, girl, I can't. And then Harold says, "Drink." You know what? So to honor these two super chats, one from Joy and one from Harold, we'll drink. Are we not just playing the, we're not doing the game anymore, we're just drinking? Two, fine, gonna, two is automatic one. Two is automatic one, one because we're gonna bypass the drinking game. Oh, and it's Meet Chuchukin, by the way. <laughs> so Meet Chuchukin from Twitch came over on uh, YouTube. Thank you so much. All right, well, I feel like a lot of people know too much about us now. I'm, this is our last live. Okay, last question. We made it through. Number 10. What is the most embarrassing thing you have put on social media? This is number 10 already. Yeah. We did pretty well. I think we were we probably answer more questions than not, I feel like. And to confirm everyone's question, it was the bat it was the bottom, it was the downstairs bathroom. <laughs> oh, that bathroom. Yeah. I would have thought it was upstairs because maybe the plumbing was like weaker upstairs. No, girl, it was downstairs and it was like <sighs> that is that why no one uses the downstairs bathroom? I don't think I, I don't remember. <laughs> don't don't add this is my story. No, I'm just asking. I'm trying to like connect the dots. Did here. you go I'm on not... the swing with that girl at the park? We were at the swing, yeah. On the same swing or separate swings? I can't remember. It was cold. So you can't remember needed, what swing you were we on? Some Is she going to be the third? We would definitely play Scrabble if she was the third. So she's... Oh, I don't think she's... Oh, no, I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> I don't think she watched Yeah, don't. This, don't say anything. She recently no found more. me on social media. So she's like, oh, my. I'm no more. What yeah, you're yeah, doing, no but more. I'm oh, not going to... Because what if she's watching? Yeah. Okay, anyway, so Jenny, yeah. Hi. <laughs> Don't say your name. Oh my god, you're gonna make me have to like put this video down. Okay, what is the most embarrassing thing you have put on social media? You know, at this point, like just watch her channel. This this is embarrassing. I am mortified. But here's now. the it, it's but I embarrassing, don't care. but we also we deep throated sausages on here. <laughs> when social media was like getting popular, it was in the Time frame when we were younger, two thousand four, two thousand five. Like we were still in college, so I'm sure there's a lot of foot drunken. Like I think people these days, like younger kids now, yeah, no, not to post those kind of pictures. But yeah, back, back then, then, we posted every like 
Every yeah. single picture we took on our phone, immediate post, immediate post. That's immediate true. Post. There, I've actually had to do kind of a. I'm not gonna say what was posted, but there was a couple things where I was like, "Oh, this shouldn't be on the internet." But back then, we didn't know what social media really was, so we just posted everything, not realizing the permitted impact of post. So we actually grew up. Our age group is the worst one to grow up with social media because it came we popular. In the it became popular when we had smartphones. Right when, it, when we had smartphones, social media happened, and we just didn't know what social media meant and we posted a lot of things that we knowing now what we know back then we wouldn't post it absolutely not so you shouldn't so if you're in your 30s you know what we're talking about yeah. yeah but then like now on youtube we just i feel like we're also at the age right now it's like okay if you're gonna either like us or not so it doesn't matter what but we now say it's all not. about you think. do you who you, you are do you, you yeah. yeah though brandon says no wonder why the toilet acts up downstairs I cannot handle. Of how, all many, the questions, how many years ago was that? That was like honestly, we were probably. I was probably like eight or nine. I was so, really young. Okay, thirty years later, <laughs> girl, I am so done okay. right now. Almost, but years. you know, I really like Angelina's comment here. She says, "All the cheese that's happening, I'm dying. Take James to that park. That would be a good James and Mark at the park episode." And I'd be like, yeah, "Do you remember was, which was, park it was? Was that on Burkhurst or Bouchard? No, it was in Irvine. Oh, Irvine, fancy." Uh, Okay, well, uh, we survived it, I think. We did the time. That wasn't bad, Laura. That wasn't bad. Laura, chose, are you still here? Are you still, like... You chose really good questions. It was a good balance. This is a good balance. Because yeah. it wasn't, like, all sexual. It was, like, like ooh, like, I don't want to share that, but okay. So, you know, that's great. I don't know. Okay. Any final thoughts? Wait, why is this your last live? Well, because next week is Christmas and we don't know what we're going to do, but technically we're going to just be at home. But it's like, if we're going to go on live and like only like five people are here, it's like, well, you know. You know. Um, there's a lot of things I probably shouldn't have posted back in the day. The memories feature on Facebook and Time Hop make me cringe at least once every single day. You know what? They do bring up. They do bring up like things that you wish you would forget. And it's like, oh, something happened today. And I was like, I can't remember what it was. But I was like, I looked at it. And I was like, why is this? Why is this floating on the internet? Um, Laura says balance. Forget balance. We want the nasty. Well, you know what? We did this. And so like next time, that'd be nice for someone else to come on and share all their secrets too. Like we actually watched a few videos because I guess this is based off of a game. There's an actual game where it's called Truth or Drink. And we watched some of that. I feel like we are more entertaining than those people were. Ooh. You don't think so? Yeah. yeah. Like, I freaking revealed that I sharded, and that wasn't even part of the question. Has anyone else sh Have you sharded since I've known you? Don't arch your eyebrows so intensely. You're not Eugene Levy. I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so either. No. Has anyone else sharded in the chat? Let me know so I'm not alone. Yeah, and check us out on Twitch. Follow us on Discord as well. Discord is like a lot of behind the scenes things. Maybe we'll just start a new channel that says like secrets, hashtag secrets. And people go in there and just tell their secrets. People will be here on Friday. James and Mark, is this the YouTube channel called Cut? What What's that channel? Oh yeah, it is that channel. Yes, Hannah. That's the one we were watching. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, we saw a couple of their Yeah, so. And Kim Young says corn and poop and jeff voluntarily said he has how many he needs noodles it sounds like he's just sharing he info jeff you need diapers <laughs> anyways are, are we good here are we good here yeah should we just finish this bottle before we end it or should we just end it oh, we can finish the bottle i mean it's, if there's... you know what how about this too just real quick if anyone's brave like laura because i'm gonna call laura out Really? Okay, no, never mind then. Next time. I can read the room. Yes, James, I have. See, Julie makes me feel comfort. No, if anyone wants to answer any of the questions that we asked. Yeah, does anyone anyone answer? And, and Laura says, I'll send you his noodles. Like, do you guys actually have noodles or do you need us to send you some? One of the biggest thing I ever learned is never trust a fart. Harold, that's a really, gr like, I wish someone told me about that. 
But you know what? James knows that, but he still like takes his <laughs> chances. Like this is a fart. This is a fart, and it becomes a shark. Everyone likes. <laughs> You you still have so much faith well, in art, <clears throat> but it's more like shark. Yeah, isn't that how it happens? Because I think that's how eighty to ninety percent of sharks happen. Is you think it's a fart, and then it becomes a shark, and it happened. And I think it was like a really like favorite pair of underwear I had that I had to just like part ways with. We ate um, porridge that day. <laughs> No, it was, but it happened before we ate the porridge. Yeah, it was so bad. Like it was on the way to the. It restaurant. was on the way to the restaurant, and then I told, "Wait, what's porridge in Korean called again?" Juke. I said I juked in my pants. I literally said I juked in my pants, and then I literally think that day that we ordered porridge, the porridge that I got or you got was the one that had like a brownish tint to it. Like it was either like some kind of- No, I got the- uh, There was one that was like- I got, I got kimchi uh, octopus. Yeah. But one was like not all white. It was like a little bit brown. And I'm gonna call out our great friend here, Dan. He says, oh, I've sharded before 100%. See, he would go through this game like no other, like easily. You know what, Dan? I also wanna just really quickly publicly acknowledge you Dan is the reason why we have a Discord right now, by the way. So all of the we automated a things, a lot of people are having fun. They had Pizza Hut the other day. People are like taking pictures of their food. We love it. If you guys have not signed up to our Discord, this is the best time to do it after the stream ends because we pop up on there and it's just a way for us to stay connected when it's not Monday or Friday. Like we don't don't depend on Monday or Friday. Depend on like any other day of the week. We are still alive on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and Saturday and Sunday. We are still breathing yeah, human beings. Here. So if you want to interact with us, Discord is the best way to let us know what you're doing, and we let you know what yeah. we're doing. Yeah. Jay Dream says once you feel the warmth, it's all over. It's true. The warmth is like it's done. Like, are there any just... times where you're like, oh shit, I. Don't know, but I hope not. But oh, you made her check. check, and you're like, "Oh crap, I did." Do you have to use the word "crap"? <laughs> <laughs> Every time I've okay, the so it's happened probably in the last two years. It's probably happened four times. Of the four times, three of it was confirmed, and one was not. And you're like, "Oh, this is this yeah." That time when it was not, I was just like, it was just warm air that like ran up through all of the undercarriage parts mm -hmm. you know so mm -hmm. uh harold it's in our description of this video um julie i don't know is is bubba okay with us reading this out loud he farted in a chinese restaurant went to the bathroom and discovered it wasn't fart he walks out of the star stall with the poop underwear to put it in the trash and a person walked in catching him oh my god oh no <laughs> what can and then what do you say after that like oh i had the poo poo platter <laughs> Or what's the other one? Omabo oh, tofu looks kind of like question. That that's a dish. If you don't have green onions on mapo tofu, then don't serve it. Kung Pu chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, that's funny. Kung Pu chicken. <laughs> I I feel like I'm the punny one, but like when Mark does it, it's like the next level because I just don't expect it. I just don't. So Mark is an Irvine kid. Awesomeness to me too. No, he's not an Irvine kid. He goes to Irvine with random girls that need to stay out of their parents' house for whatever reason overnight and just hangs out there all night. Oh no, EXO is vomiting right now, but staying so I can support. Oh, if you're not feeling well, we have more videos coming. We just want you to feel well. Okay. We want you to feel. Better. I need to take my shot, and then we're gonna end the stream. So, cheers to you guys! Thank you for. Um, we're never doing this again. But if you guys want us to do it Actually, again, actually, Laura did a good job with the. Question. It was a good balance. It was a good balance. So, thank you. Really. Oh, when it's warm, chummy is crummy. It needs to be cold. Soju, so is soju alcohol? Like warm, no, but hot, Laura, not. Laura said, "Don't bring that lame ass chummy." We don't even know what vodka she's drinking. Yet. I don't want to. I don't know her. Okay, 
Thank you guys so much for joining us for another Friday Night Mukbang. It's like a tower of clamshells. It's like Jenga. We should like pull up. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Check out one of our other videos. Sign up to our Discord. Follow us on Instagram. Love us. We love you guys. Stay subscribe. safe. Subscribe. Oh, my gosh. We want to get to 19,700 by the end of the night. You know what? If we didn't get to 19,700, we're not going to do the Monday stream. If we... Oh, what? We're going to cancel Monday stream if we're not at 19,700? Yeah, because we should have. After all the deets that we gave, we're at 19,683. Cancel. Okay, well, so we'll see you in 2021. Then. We'll think about it, but please subscribe. We want, we need more subscribers, but love you guys. Stay safe. Be well. Bye.